Terry Crews. I don't know. Terry Tate was the office linebacker. Terry's cool. Terry Poos. No, I think pants. Terry Crews was a football player too, wasn't he? Yeah. Back in the day. I don't remember. Terry Crews did some shit over a couple months ago. I just remember it. And one day then somebody sucked my penis. Terry Crews' one thing I, is that he It flexes. turned out that it was a man. It was Adam. No, it wasn't. So, and I was gay. And no, he wasn't. was worse. More, he had it worse gay. than me. It wasn't me. <laughs> if you had to, if you only, if you had to choose you, one, if you had one gold brick yes. that said the uh, golden medal that said gay, mm-hmm. you yes. can only place it around the neck of one. You can only adorn one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Adam would get the medal. Adam would get it. <laughs> get because the he's gay. Well, he the would be the wins. one who gets the medal. And even though you we might be sort of gay. Then he would, and then at that point, I would become jealous <laughs> and give him the medal, but then take the ribbon part for myself. <laughs> oh, you wanted the ribbon. I want the ribbon. Well, the ribbon is actually the gay part. The though. ribbon is just something that means you're a winner. The gold. <laughs> you can keep the part that says Ooh. gay. Well, that has, and I'm keeping the well, ribbon. Well, actually, the ribbon also says gay. No, then you can have both of them and <laughs> but you still want it. but I want the it because you're value. gay because I'm the winner because you're gay because I'm the winner it well, actually turns out that both of you are gay then stop, stop it. All the straight. And I didn't eat them ate, then they he, I didn't eat them no I saved them medals, for you the, you walked the into conflict it. was resolved I know that you guys are both homos and this conflict was resolved when stop ate all the medals <laughs> okay if I resolved it <laughs> yeah. I'm a peacekeeper very diplomatic but we all know that there's, a the PC, two there's another of type of PC gay. keeps inside his ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kind of piece that attaches to a man's balls. No, it doesn't. And the, the rest of it's spelled P E N I S. <laughs> Is what Nick sucks. Uh, P N I S. Only at gunpoint. <laughs> To prove how not gay I am. <laughs> but he is actually holding the gun. But the <laughs> Nick is holding <laughs> the gun up to his own head. Uh, yes. <laughs> fucking off. That's a fucking be- guy. Be- That's because- a crazy move. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker. It's a psycho <laughs> move. That's a real mm, Batman. Yeah. Just ties up Batman. Yeah. Puts the gun Will to his head. Like, yeah, Jared Leto was crazy on the set. He'd come up to me and he would suck my dick at gun gunpoint, but he was holding the gun. <laughs> She's still hot, actually. Oh yeah, Jillian, Jillian Anderson. Yeah, she fucked Megan Fox. I saw a picture of them all about to have sex in real life. Yeah, they were, well, they, I, they were like leaving a club, and they both. I would love to watch. They were a lesbian with each other. Scully, yeah, that sounds that's awesome. Tight, dude. That's so cool. That is cool. Scully and, and I got and, hard. And, no and, joke. And, thinking about and that. And Candyman era Virginia Madsen fuck each other while I hold a gun to my head. <laughs> Just like a guy's yeah. cock. And now. <laughs> We're going to play a game. <laughs> They're like, okay, well, yeah. we're just going to leave if you're just going to no, point it at your I'm own gonna head. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill it. myself. We don't care. <laughs> At, oh. <laughs> That's such a funny visual. <laughs> I Can I at least see your pussies? I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> then why do you want to see us fuck? Oh, yeah. Just do it. Just. I didn't really I didn't think it through. through. I didn't consider <laughs> how any of this would go. <laughs> Fuck. Goddamn. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. So my dig now, Sally. What are we going to get for lunch? So my dig now, Sally. I suck my, Let I me suck see my, suck my penis down, Sally. <laughs> suck my penis down slow. <laughs> You gotta suck it slow. You gotta suck the dick slow. <laughs> There's two bulls. There's a young bull and an older bull. And the older bull, he's gay. Yes. And the younger bull was straight. And there's a bunch of cows down in the field. And the younger bull says, let's go down there. Let's run down there and fuck all those cows. And the older bull holds them down and erases them. <laughs> he says, shut up. Yeah. You're gay now. Okay, cut. Um... <laughs> No, that's uh, it's the you got the story wrong. I got the story the way I want it, Mac. <laughs> He's Joe Biden. Yeah. Now. Listen here, listen here, Dick, Dick Cock. <laughs> I got, I had a bunch of spiders shoved up my ass. Or got, they're making cobwebs up there. <laughs> so yeah, you got, yeah, you got, I got, I got. Yo, by ass. the way, shout out to Hunter, dude. He's doing art. He's copying you, Adam. I know. Hunter Biden is doing an art exhibit. We, we got to go. Hunter sucks my cock. 
We both walk. Hunter, my son, my son does what he needs to do to suck my cock. I saw there's a in the. <laughs> is it in New York? Can we go? In the does he have a show? He's got a show somewhere. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. trying to go, dude. I'm trying to go for sure. Shout that out to the ledge. So much mm-hmm. Hunter the ledge Biden. Yeah, he's doing cocaine and having sex with Malia Obama. <laughs> That's what. Uh, they, yeah, there's a picture. Isn't they she say like that, 16? There's mm-hmm. a picture that says from the from the mm-hmm. laptop hack mm-hmm. that has a. A, a line Malia's chopped like, up next uh, to Malia's, Malia's like, uh, <laughs> I'm 16. Uh, I, I like getting my pussy uh, fucked. I want to get fucked. I, I want to get fucked and uh, do cocaine. <laughs> I think she's like 21, not that I've been Uh-oh. tracking. Mm-hmm. Mr. Uh, Adam's been Googling me. <laughs> He's trying to fuck my uh, pussy. You can't you can, you can just Google me to find out if I'm of age. <laughs> if you got to fuck my, you got to take a chance. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way Hunter did it. He took a chance. He didn't know. He thought I was 16. <laughs> uh, I sucked his cock. Dude, if Hunter got pussy from the Malia, from the Obama That'd girls, be so sick. that would be so fucking yeah, he funny. He just has to fuck. Every, he's like the guy from California. Vacation. Yeah, he just has to fuck everyone in his. Didn't path. David Duchovny just do that to get some pussy? Nice. I love just. I'm out of just cushy. blasting coffee in the morning, getting myself really fucking wired, feeling like absolute dog shit, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. fixing it with different with, drugs. With CBD, with by high smoking. quality CBD yeah, from Cushy which Dreams. I used to when I was in my drinking days. The the fucking that eleven a.m. the noon switch <clears throat> where you go from too much coffee to when the booze little, in the starts little fucking whiskey and the the fuck the booze and the 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 coffee do the like arm wrestle yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah the globe yeah absolutely <laughs> you know yeah fucking. you get like twenty minutes where it's awesome mm-hmm. yeah where it's the best where you found your cocktail and then the alcohol starts winning mm-hmm. yeah I had one day I was in some museum. Mm-hmm. And I had drank too much coffee, and then I started sure. drinking beer in the the museum cafe. Respect, mm-hmm. and I started getting a little drunk. Getting drunk off eleven dollar uh, museum yes. beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Screw it, this rock is fucking. It's a perfect morning." I love mm-hmm. the culture. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an intellectual, and I'm trashed. Mm-hmm. Just and going I- up to women like, you know, you ever look at this painting? What's up, bitch? You ever know, talk about Picasso? Ah, uh, the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from at the, me. At the, like, Natural History Get Museum, out. talking about paintings. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where the fuck, where's the, where are the uh, gay-ass rocks here? Ah, uh, in Frank, her diary, I've read it. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get away, Masha, come with us, please. <laughs> Sir, do not talk to my daughter. She's not allowed to have sex with anyone but me. <laughs> <laughs> Only I will have sex with my daughter as part of a lease agreement. <laughs> with if you want to fuck my daughter, it's twelve month lease on the pussy. We need first and last month. And Secure forty times income. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna turn my shit up here. One way or another, I will get some butt. Seven inches shoved all the way up my ass, <laughs> getting fucked in church. Seven, Seven inches. inches. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing that is kind of nice. I wish my dick was seven inches, mate. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. I can't believe you'd let me get fucked in the ass. (laughs) Dad, chill out. Oh, he's getting fucked in the ass. Yeah, I don't know. (laughs) 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 Eric, you're staying late at the church to get fucked in the ass? You know my dad has Alzheimer's. And that's now I gotta make that everybody's proud. That's all I remember. That mom was a bitch. Fucking whore. She was the real Skyler. Yeah. You'd uh-huh. be cool as a seventh heaven breaking bad mashup where Eric mm-hmm. Campbell finds out that he has cancer, so he becomes a Satanist. Wow. Uh, yeah. He stops being Christian. Yeah. He, so, he starts a metal a satanic metal. Well band. it becomes he's he's like I gave you everything, and you gave me fucking melanoma that I had to get removed from my ankle. Oh, so it's just <laughs> melanoma. Yeah. And I I had to spend $30 on a copay to get melanoma <laughs> removed from my ankle. Fuck you, God. 
Seventh heaven. Now that fucking Me. hell. He's gone. He's just, just it's seventh hell. Seventh hell, yeah. seventh the seventh hell. seventh circle. And he's like, now I worship Satan. Yeah. And then the governor of the town they live in, mm-hmm. which they, the, that town has a governor. Okay. <laughs> and mm-hmm. he stops by and he's like, listen, uh, I heard you're doing something a little different with your church. I'm up for re-election, and I need some power to help me. Mm. So I'm, um, we're going to team up, you, me, and Jesse Pinkman, okay. who's now who's was one of your altar boys, mm. who was very promising, but he was molested so much that he got into making child pornography. Mm. And Eric Campbell's like, you help me. We team up. I know the science, mm-hmm. and you... you- Fuck. Something else. you uh, you know the whatever streets. the pre- you have the premise yeah. the other side of the <laughs> the, uh, the premise of Breaking Bad uh-huh, yeah and Jesse yeah. Jesse knew the de- the trade Jesse, right. Jesse was a dealer yes so I'm the I'll one fuck that, the kids I'll fuck the and kids and you sell the child and pornography. you sell the child oh, pornography, okay. Jesse <laughs> that works and then they work their way up the Democratic Party <laughs> <laughs> and, whoa yeah and so he's like you know he's making all this fucking money on the side selling child slaves to mm-hmm. Hillary Clinton yep. Hunter Biden and all these guys sure oh, don't, and, the, don't. and the wife is like Eric you're supposed to be praying you know right. dad has Alzheimer's right uh-huh. you know my dad <laughs> he's got Alzheimer's yep and he's, and he's like, like, I'm about to forget my fucking dick in your mouth if you don't <laughs> shut up. I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> that pussy loose. I'm the one who, I'm, you, there's two, there's, there's two sets of footprints on the beach. And then mm-hmm. it's in, you know, he has to go into the Southwest and deal with like, uh, Danny Trejo for some reason. Uh-huh. Yep. Or whoever yep. the Hispanic guy. Gustavo. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What does Gustavo run? Uh, it just makes like the little Eucharist crackers. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Who's Gustavo? Uh, Gus Fring. Gus oh, Fring. Oh, nice. The Chicken King. Yeah. Who had a boyfriend that he made meth with or something? And oh, he was gay. Is that the backstory? I don't think he was gay. <sighs> oh. I just think he was. He I tucked his shirt it. in. You haven't seen Breaking Bad? No, we said this two episodes ago. Uh, I forget what I, I don't listen. Dude, you know? Yeah, we yeah, but my that. conversations with your friend, you don't fucking remember. No. Everything you say to me off mic, I remember. He's thinking about pictures of himself <laughs> that he's seen. <laughs> <laughs> he's having fond memories of pictures of himself that he's seen, and then occasionally a mm. joke you say will seep into his subconscious, and then his and brain will go, know. "Remember to repeat that verbatim." Uh, two days later, four as if days it was my idea. later. <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> Listen, it's not a life I chose, it's a life that chose me. Mm-hmm. Seventh penis. Uh, I'm the one who fucks. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm yeah. trying to remember other breaking. What, what else can we jam into that bit? Uh, the, the, the sun, Sometimes this the, show is like shoveling coal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. The son who uh, his legs don't He's work. Ret- he had a retarded son. Who yeah. wants to change his name to Walt, Flynn. Walt mm. Jr. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that kid's on crutches. Simon's on crutches. Simon's on crutches. Because, yeah. But the dad broke his legs for being gay. <laughs> What do you do? He's like, I don't want you walking into the boys' bathroom. He's like, okay, Dad. Why did he talk that way? Um, From sucking cock. (laughs) So he was gay. Yeah, well, that's it. Eric walked in on him. (laughs) Eric walked in. He's like, why are you using my child pornography tools? (laughs) To have gay, to do something even more disgusting. To do, yeah. Being gay, to, to be, be gay. To be gay by choice instead of sacrificing children to your satanic energy. Yeah, there's a big difference. You should get, Nick, you should get one of those flowers that squirts people, like lapel yeah. flowers. Oh, That is literally yeah. a thing the Joker would do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put yeah. acid in one of those yeah. flowers. Get some acid in that. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Um, it could really cause some chaos. I don't know, maybe oh, Goldschlager. I, I forgot to mention this on the podcast, but I witnessed a murder. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that. <laughs> I, really, I, really I can't believe we haven't talked about this yet. Yeah, no, that was fucking insane. That's wild. Yeah. I'm sitting, it's like 20 feet from my window. I'm Jesus sitting there and Christ. he's just like pop 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 and it's like unmistakable it's a gun mm-hmm. you know? Jesus I'm like holy shit and then uh, you know it's funny because you think about like what would you do in that circumstance and mm-hmm. I, I know you the got answer. your katana I know the answer now no it's like continue watching that video of 
somebody edited where Zach Braff is listening to the shins. Of <laughs> oh, yeah. Seth, but it's diarrhea sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even give it a pause? No, I paused it when the gun went off. I'm like, yeah, that's because, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like, it's literally right the fuck outside Jeez. my window. loud as fuck. Right. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's a gun. Like, there's no way. It's Were you like alone? Car back yeah, I was by car, myself. Yeah. Jesus. It was a pop, 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 pop. Yeah, four shots. Four I mean, shot. it was, and it was a gun. It was like, no way it could yeah. be anything else. God, who like, got yeah. shot? Um, I don't know. One of the, you know, a kid, no, neighborhood fellas. Uh, yeah, just you know, guy, one, a guy. Of the, one of the block guys, I guess. Some old guy. I didn't tell you guys. But uh, yeah, yeah. hold on, he's you written some murder. Continue, sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> Let's, I'm sure whatever you're about to say is definitely <laughs> better than. No, no. When you're done, when you're done. no, no, no. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Yeah, please go ahead. I'm sure yeah. it doesn't matter, Adam, it because whatever matter. it is, we're gonna ridicule you for. Put, so I say know, it I now. Know, I know. I know. Yeah. All know. right, I finish mean, this my whole, but finish your story, and then, and then we'll you'll say, and then, and then, then we'll really, ridicule you. You can really yeah, let yeah. her rip. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, yeah. My cool story <laughs> afterwards. But anyways, I mean, I don't even know if it's even that funny, but it's not funny, but it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. No, it does fuck you up. I mean, having to listen to that, yeah, that lady like wailing and running up and down the block. I mean, I've been kind of in a funk the last couple days. Yeah, because she came outside and they're like. Husband or son or whatever. Oh, God, fuck. Damn, it was murder. in front of his, like, He's, family. Yeah, he lives down in a block. He's like, right there, this woman comes out, and she's fucking screaming oh, and shit. Oh, what the Running up and down, hysterical. And That's then, like, terrible. Because it took, like, four or five minutes before the cops to show up. Because, yeah. you know, they have, like, that shot spot or shit. So, and the precinct's, like, two blocks mm-hmm. away. So I figured. But as soon as they started showing up, like, the block was shut down. You God know, there's, like, 50. Could you not leave there. your house? No, I could leave my house. But they taped up the block and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know? Jesus Christ. There's still... There's still blood all over the sidewalk. Holy fuck. Yeah. They don't clean that up? They or? don't clean it up. Wow. It's evident. That's why, you know, you walk around CSI. and you see what looks like a pool of blood dried on the sidewalk. And, and you're like, that looks like, yeah, it probably is. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no Christ. way, man. They'll yeah. clean it up eventually. No, I mean, it's sitting right there. Damn. And it's just going to stain the fucking sidewalk. Damn. Yeah. That'll be like that forever. Fucking, Jesus Christ. Can you believe that guy? Yeah. That's crazy. Just fucking. Man. Yeah. That's a bummer. <laughs> it is, but you know what? That is so New York. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, well, it's weird because so you think about it. It's like that guy authentic. was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go shoot this guy I have a dispute with." He pulls up and then kills him, then gets in a car and drives away. And that's like, that's like the worst thing you can do. Really, is just to murder someone. Out on the street. Right, right, right. There's no way to get away with it, right? He may. Was he it, might. Early, it was early evening, right? It was 8, 8.40 p.m. So it wasn't Jeez. fully dark. It was dark. Uh, it was nighttime. It was, it was dark out, yeah. yeah. Did you see a car or anything? No. I mean, I, I like looked out my window, but I didn't really see anything because it happened. Damn, I was like, you saw the fuck? body, though? Um, I saw them putting him in the uh, ambulance Oof, and shit. Maron. Yeah. God damn. That's wild. Anyway, Adam, what was your story that's as good as that? No, it wasn't as good. No, no, go ahead. Say it. Though. I was just outside just now. And this guy points at Victor's car, and he's like, "Tell him I don't get my money. I will break his windows." And I was like, "I'm not involved." <laughs> and that guy like, said that to you. He's like, "You my witness. You my witness." Nah. He's like that's not how you don't want a witness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're plotting a crime. He said that. He told me that. <laughs> what I a was, fucking idiot. <laughs> he told me, Dude, I was "Are you going to be a witness to this? I'm going to murder this man." <laughs> no, he said that. I, I promise me, you will be a witness. <laughs> he said. You're my witness that if I don't get my money, I'm gonna break the break the victor's windows of his car. Jesus, and then I'm awesome. like, I, I just didn't say anything. And then he's like, tell him, oh, tell him, OG told you that. And I was like, yeah, just, uh, I, hey, I just like looked at my hey, phone. Victor, hey, Victor, hey, Victor uh, uh, OG. OG says that if he doesn't get his money, um, well, you tell OG. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to be in the middle of this. <laughs> Write this down. You tell that chump bitch. <laughs> you say that to him. God, God, I can't wait till Adam gets murdered because he gets caught up in a fucking neighborhood dispute. No, Victor's my friend. Yeah, but OG doesn't know. Yeah, that. being friends with these guys is how you get murdered. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't speak to anybody. That's right. Except I followed the guy that shot that guy, and I became friends with him. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> that way, I know I'm cool. clear. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah. No, the police were like, "Do you see anything?" And I was like, Shh. "Nope." No. You know, and then and I. You texted him. Right, and then I just hide the business card the guy gave me. <laughs> John, it's cool. Jonathan Jonathan Boston murderer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was from Boston. No, that's just his name. Whoa, yeah. yeah, that's cool. You were telling me he wanted to hang out with you later tonight at the fucking down by the docks. Yeah, 
dark, dark he by yourself. Be, yeah, he's going to teach me a lesson in keeping secrets. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I told him I have a podcast. I'm going to tell everybody about <laughs> yeah. the murder. And he was like, that's great. He's <laughs> like, come, don't tell anyone you're coming down to the docks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds gonna like it's going to be a this, fun time. The secret of keeping secrets. <laughs> I'm like, good, because I'm really bad at... <laughs> I struggle a lot with keeping secrets. <laughs> that lesson will be great. That will be a really good lesson. Yeah, these, uh, don't tell anyone you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> little man pretends to be a baby because he's already little. Right. Well, exactly. we could all we could have health care where we all pretend to be babies. Right. Yeah, you you said it best at him. We could all pretend to be a baby. Right. <laughs> and then you get to suck on a titty. <laughs> <laughs> and we all live off milk. Yep, right. And we that's the best t- medicine there is, mother's milk. They say the best medicine is laughter. Uh-huh. It's laugh- laughing at people. <laughs> you know, when my son died, I've, I, 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 I rewashed all of Martin. <laughs> that was the first thing I did is I sat down with Hunter and we watched Martin. <laughs> and Hun, oh, Hunter, that's when I started yeah. smoking crack. I, didn't talk. <laughs> I wanted to be more like the people. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not why Hunter did it. And he's never <laughs> Smoke crack he didn't smoke Martin. crack because he wanted to be like the people on it's Martin. It's a basic cable I, sitcom. I blame <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Everybody's talking about Ukraine. You need to look at Martin. <laughs> That's Martin Lawrence. Why the hell? He's got all these crack smoking. <laughs> the, the cut his mic. Cut his mic. <laughs> Mr. President. Cut his mic. Kamala. Well, I can't believe he's going to be inaugurated. Next yeah. week. <laughs> Kamala cuts him off. She's like, listen, he was confused. Yeah. I watched Martin. They all belong in jail. <laughs> I would have arrested uh, Kamala. I would have arrested Kamala, all what's your favorite episode of Martin? <laughs> Tupac. When Tupac comes when t- on. You know the episode when they're My, down who's at your the favorite, cookout. Who's your favorite character on Martin? <laughs> Tupac. <laughs> up, uh, when Tupac is on, what are we talking about? Space Jam? <laughs> My favorite TV show um, uh, in living, Tupac. <laughs> what do you got going on your phone, dude? Uh, nothing. I was killing time until I can uh, try and wedge, wedge, uh, wedge this in again. <laughs> yes. Little Joe. Nice. Just get, just keep working. You gotta keep, you keep working yeah. on something. Until it gets worse. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And that's what I've dedicated my life to. Because <laughs> <laughs> you keep trying and trying until you don't get better, but the world becomes such mm-hmm. a piece of shit that people have to accept it. <laughs> don't even notice how <laughs> that, fucking bad you are at your job. That you're a, sh- a shittier version <laughs> of yourself, <laughs> which was already shit. <laughs> which is not good to begin with. Uh-huh. You don't get better. You just wait for the world to get worse. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen to that, brother. My yeah, my New Year's resolution is to fix this Joe Biden impression. That's good, man. It's gonna drive me insane. When we spoke with Joe Biden, double the bread, double the head for me, of yeah. course, uh, as every year. We need some revolutionary institutional changes. Like what? Well, for example, I think we have to fundamentally change the way in which we deal with um, uh, institutional racism. He sounds good there. Uh, oh, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Black people are being fucking annoying. We gotta, we gotta. Let's start letting black people go to Bilderberg. <laughs> <laughs> that is institutional racism. I, one of the, it's a good one example. Of, one of the institutions. <laughs> that, one of the <laughs> one of the institutions that they're not letting black people go to is Bilderberg. <laughs> I like that. It, I like that Joe Biden said, like when he thinks about like institutional problems, the institution he's thinking of is like the Ronald McDonald House. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I'm only only this year learning what institutions are. Uh, the institution he's thinking of is uh, yeah Ronald McDonald House and like the Casey Kasem Top Forty Countdown. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> we got a little black guy be Casey Kasem. Yeah. We well, gotta let him vote. When are we gonna have a black guy on who wants to be a millionaire? That's true. <laughs> Oh, wait, there's never been a that Alex Trebek just died. Why don't we get a black guy to host the show? Uh-huh. We'll have Wayne Brady on Jeopardy. <laughs> Boom. Police brutality solved. <laughs> Wayne Brady. Now I don't want to see him do Jeopardy. I'm sorry, but I got to put my foot down. He can stay over on Let's Make a Deal or whatever the fuck he's on. It should be Tommy Loren. That's who should. Uh, 
one of the this hardest told me things beyond police issues. There's the issue of accumulation of wealth. There's the issue of accumulation of, of uh, calcium deposits on my brain. <laughs> There's, I mean, they've got, there's, they've got an issue now. There's a lot of, a lot of rich people. They have all the money. And there's also a bunch of plaques, in my brain, preventing my neurons from, <laughs> from, from connecting from with each other correctly. <laughs> Sometimes I can't use my left hand. I so often, I, I've, every letter I've written in the last five years, I've had to use my asshole to hold the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> <laughs> they start accusing me of having fake their blank pieces of paper and pictures. Well, yeah, what do you want me to do? I have a picture of my asshole on the newspaper? <laughs> I have to sign everything with my asshole. Mm -hmm. They did the same thing with Bob Dole. Oh, yeah. They had to tape a pencil into his hand because he broke his arm jacking guys off in World War II. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's always had a pen in his hand, man. Yeah. What an asshole. <laughs> is, that, is that a spare big in there? Yeah. When I met Bob Dole, he taught me the asshole trick. <laughs> Damn. Salute to Bob Dole who took dick pills. Yeah. Yeah. With the first guy, too. A fucking... Uh, honestly, a... a uh, Broke down barriers for dick pills. An awful lot of black dick pills. <laughs> <laughs> what is he saying? Equally, as they're as qualified as white Americans based on the same status they're in in terms of their economic opportunity, but they don't get a chance. So, for example, if we just made every corporation pay a minimum 15% tax, you got 91 pay no tax. That raises over four hundred billion dollars. Damn, that's he had to memorize seven numbers. Yeah, and it was tough. You could yeah. tell. Uh, so now you're gonna have to do me a favor. Since I said all that, you're gonna have to call my family to come pick me up because I forgot my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> That's been pushed out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I remember fifteen percent, ninety one, and seven million. I'm fucked. I think the area code is five. <laughs> <It starts laughs> with five. <laughs> but other than that, you're gonna have to you're you're gonna have to fucking navigate my. <laughs> what do they call fuck? God damn it! I got what? my own memory problems. <laughs> You know the cell phones for old people? Oh, that's 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 jitterbug. Oh, yeah. Jitterbug. Yeah. Jitterbug. Yeah. <laughs> I, I accidentally replaced my... I, would, I didn't want my pencil holding ability to deteriorate because I took a week off from writing. That's the, right. To think, to memorize those numbers. <laughs> so I was keeping my jitterbug in there and... It, would you believe it? The damn thing got sucked all the way up into my <laughs> small intestine. <so. laughs> Have you seen the people who try to say that, like, it's... You can't make fun of Biden's, like, you know, yeah, senility just, because it's actually just him having a stutter. A stutter. Or, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, having a they've stutter been saying that. And those people are called faggots. <laughs> <laughs> and we've done a study, and the people that are saying that are what you would refer to as... <laughs> the second Whoa. saying yes Whoa. you can get away with it once but saying it twice saying is it crossing twice a line means you it wasn't in the heat of the moment it was not <laughs> you thought about you it you gotta say it once you, you gotta, gotta say you can only say the word once <laughs> you know, call people faggot once you can get away with it <laughs> go too many times 60 seconds yeah. after you say it yeah, you, gotta yeah. Be gone you gotta in 60 be gone. seconds Okay, I'm ready to call him a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you used to have to measure your dick with a sundial. <laughs> That's how we knew what time it was. You'd pull your cock out and, and, and put it on your son's face. <laughs> 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 the, the sun would be something like that. I don't so know. You, I, I'm not sure how it works. I don't know exactly what it was, but they called that a sundial. <laughs> That's where sun comes from. Yeah. And dial is because he would dial the police afterwards. <laughs> Sometimes you got to give your your son the Egyptian goggles. What's it called? The Arabian the, goggles. The Arabian, Arabian goggles. goggles. Arabian goggles. <laughs> That's what Tommy Tommy taught me. About. That's right, Tommy Georgie. My friend, my friend T. E. Lawrence. <laughs> he he brought it back. T. <laughs> e. Lawrence invented. My, my the friend T. E. Lawrence. He went yeah. over there and he brought it back and he showed me all the stuff he learned in Arabia. <laughs> it's true. In the we were roommates. Service. We were roommates in college, <laughs> and I showed him the sundial and he said, "Check this thing out. I learned it from the Shah." <laughs> And I said, this doesn't feel like goggles. That's right. Back then, they called me... Uh, this 
<laughs> the stuttering dick sucking <laughs> <laughs> The Delaware dick sucking stuttering Everybody, loved, it. Everybody loved getting their dick sucked by me Because I had a stutter <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Can't ever let it go. Gaslighting just means lying, huh? No, gaslighting is making someone think they're crazy. Oh. You make you make the other person think they're but crazy. But that's a form of lying. It could yeah, be. I mean, gaslighting is like, there's many different... It's some you shit could, that... You're pre- just said. pretending that they don't remember something is like, is a form of gaslighting. Gotcha. Which you know, it'd be like, you, you call your girlfriend a cunt, and then a week later, she's like, but you called me a cunt, and you're like, I honestly don't even remember that. And it's like, you, they do remember. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. That's interesting. That's, that's called lying. being a cool boyfriend. It's lying. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. So gaslighting equals lying. Mm-hmm. It doesn't everybody, equal lying. Everybody has to have there cool could be fucking words that, for everything. There could be lying that isn't gaslighting. But it's essentially lying. No, it's mm-hmm. more specific that's, than that. It's fine. It's a, it's the, the, now we're having the chimps versus bonobos debate again. Mm-hmm. Exactly. No. It's a set subset <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're starting all our debates <laughs> over again. Is that what's gas happening? Gaslighting is a subset of lying. <laughs> Let's get all the debates oh. going again. <laughs> <laughs> Because gaslighting implies a like a rewriting of the record, lying. It's retconning. Lying. Well, yeah, there's lying. lying. But it's like it's not like (laughs) lying is involved, but it is. It is like yeah, it's more retconning than lying. It's a specific kind of lying. The way a chimp or a bonobo is a specific kind of chimp. That's right. That's what I was saying. But we're not talking about species. So you could. Yes, we are. But he's saying it's a set subset situation. Thank you. I know what you're saying. Thank we you. all agree. We all agree, and we can move forward. I was at the For the record, Adam did not agree. <laughs> I did agree. I said that. I oh, a, fr- a gas, a fresh gaslight. Listen, we all agree that I was at the bookstore. I'm st- I'm swinging back to thinking you were now. Honestly, that I was. That you were. Good. Thank you, Stavros. Um, and that's how the gaslighting process works. That's not. <laughs> I'm not gaslighting. It convinces stuff. you that you're crazy. You're, you're like, gaslighting I guess Adam me. must be right. No, I've moved on. I don't care. What is get? Where does that word come from? A book, some it's kind of no, book. It's the movie Gaslight. No. Oh, there's a movie. There's, there's a book called Gaslight. There's a movie called Gaslight. It was probably based I on a book. I think it's a book. Well, you don't read books if you haven't <laughs> seen the movie. If you see the movie, you don't. Both have to of read those the book. things are true, but I think I heard someone at some point, and it might have been what one is of it? You. Someone, all that dumb girl bullshit is like not it's girl actual. Shit. It's not actual science. It's like you know, like the Bechdel test. That was just some dumb bitch. That wasn't like what? she. She like drew comics, and she's like, I Her came name up was with Bechdel. It. some bitch named like fucking Katie. Yeah, who Bechdel. cares? Science is gay, dude. I well, I mean, you know, it's like. It's wrong, and I, I don't <laughs> think women should be saying things. <laughs> I personally, is, that is a wild. I, mean, I don't test, think though. that they should. It's really depressing yeah. for women. That's that's hilarious. That they have to hold. I was like, oh come on, this can't be that many movies. It's and every then you movie. see it's every fucking movie. Yeah, yeah, but it's also the movies they make for themselves. That's right. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's like I mean, a movie about her, a woman getting her shit together. It's always like because she got dumped. True. You know? Mm-hmm. It's never like... Well, I guess Gravity doesn't... Gravity is because her kid died. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one movie. That's the only movie that passes the Bechdel test? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but another, it was a male child. There's not another female character. But she movie. fucked the kid. What's that? It was a man. So if there's fucked. not another female character, then, then it, it fails the Bechdel test. It has to be two oh, women. Yeah, talk- Unless George Clooney was trans. Two women not talking about a man. Was that's Clooney true. Trans? I'm just trying to think of movies where, like... The woman's motivation. The Avengers probably. Aren't. No, yeah. Thanos is a man. Thanos. If Thanos wasn't a man, and Scarlett Johansson and somebody else, I can't some even other think bitch. of another bitch. <laughs> that green bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the green bitch, Zoe Saldana. But is it in a romantic context, or is it just talking about a man? I think it's not even romantic. I think it's just talking about. Damn, a man. really? Yeah. And it's they still don't pass that shit. That no. is pretty gay. For There's women. never been a movie that's passed the fact. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Maybe cool. bridesmaids. They must have. No, they were always talking about a man. Yeah, it's literally a movie about, about a woman getting wedding. married. Yeah, but they probably talk about something like, "What do you want for yeah, dinner?" Yeah, but the whole point. I mean, the movie is about women that oh oh are, aren't married and their friend is. Hold on, what about? And they all feel like whores because of it. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's and therein lies the comedy. Is that <laughs> All women are whores, really, and it's you know, just because she's getting married doesn't mean she's not a slut. Yeah. Interesting. See, yeah, she can't. She can't shed her movie. slut yeah. past. Really, if you look at the movie, it's a, sort of a criticism of the men that allow women to t- tie them know, down. Tie them touch, down. Yeah, Tim Despite Heidegger. The fact. 
Tim Heidecker really should be getting different pussy than you, Maya Rudolph. Exactly. Movie. Yes, and John mm. Hamm. John mm. Hamm's the only good one. Yeah. Because he just uses Kirsten, Kristen Wiig's pussy up. Like a hand. Right. Like a hand. Yeah. Like a ham. Like a like He hand. fucks it like a microwaved ham, which yeah. is his last name. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 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 Duda. Nice read, Duda. Suck on my nuts. Uh huh. Um, okay, let's figure out one movie that passes the Bechdel test. What about Annihilation? I never saw it. Mortal Kombat Annihilation? That? No. It's no, they go into the. F- Natalie Portman, is that thing? Natalie I never Portman. Saw it. Yeah. Tessa Thompson. They go into the forest. And they shoot some shit. It looked cool, but then someone said it wasn't an action movie like I thought it might be. And then I was like, it was just snooze. Oh, what about a, that horror movie where an old bitch traps a young bitch? Oh, what is that? What movie? It's, uh, I don't know. It's called like Ernestine or some shit like that. Er, one of the Ernest movies? <laughs> yeah. What's up? We short and change, brother? Short and change. Wh- where did you, where's all that change from, my man? It's like six years worth of quarters. Mm, nice. Mm. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Now's fuck. the time to do it. Huh? Yeah, well, right I was now, already doing it, show. you know, and then Adam interrupted me because he had to come over and gossip. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to gossip. I did say that yeah, if I came over, Cameron's dating Jeff Bezos. <laughs> if I came over, <laughs> wait, that would be awesome, honestly. If I came over and I had stacks of change, yeah, and I we already on my had coffee this converse, table, we already had this conversation. Well, we could do it on mic now. You, you wouldn't have seven years worth of change. No, I wouldn't. So I wouldn't have the in ingenuity. <laughs> you would take it. To I wouldn't the, have the uh, stick-to-itiveness to keep all that change. Go to the coin store. I've completely forgot that this was in my apartment. All it's right, not, so there's just no do way, it after the show. You don't have a mental tab of every fucking dime that's in your house and every crevice <laughs> everywhere. Mm. So don't even try and start with that fucking. Actually, you're the Jew bullshit with me. Actually, well, you're this the is Jew. kind of a Jew move because you would yeah, just take you're it to refusing Coinstar to and pay the like percentage. Yeah, I don't even where is Coinstar anymore. I don't every know. My store. bank had one, but they got rid of it. <laughs> they got rid your of, bank sucks. They dick, suck dude. dick. Uh-huh. Yeah. They were the worst. They had for, <laughs> it was great. They had a thing. The count changed. And they were like. Uh, because because of customers abusing the, ch- and it's like I don't even know how <laughs> you're you jacking mean using it. it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Customers abusing it, abusing, just the, putting their cocks in the coin that it's star a hole. Masturbation uh, booth, like in Japan. Like uh, Nick has to fuck Terry Gross. No, to make no, like a good no. podcast. That's so funny that the Jews kept that as a last name. What are you gross? Well, yeah, when they came to America, <laughs> they I were like, they, let's let's us. not change it. Let's keep gross the way it is. Well, gross didn't mean disgusting. It probably they yeah, it's thought probably it was a German oh, word. after them. <laughs> <laughs> right. They're like that girl's gross. <laughs> I love how Nick's <laughs> amping up the anti-Semitism because I made it clearly. Like uh, obvious observation about you counting coins for the uh, last no, hour. No, no, you are defensive. We've been watching and you're you count anti- coins for the last hour, it's and been, I, all I was saying is, if I did maybe that, twenty minutes <laughs> tops. Twenty minutes of counting coins. All right, look, man, just go to a coin star. It's in a grocery store. Yeah. They don't have. I haven't seen a single coin star in. Uh, Nick does want to give up the seven percent. I, d- I don't even you know the Coinstar <laughs> yeah. percentage. Is it is it seven? I didn't even know Coinstar <laughs> total right, percentage. Time to find guess. out. If that it's seven, that's wild. That was a guess. No, if it's seven, it wasn't a guess. That was a pure guess. No, it wasn't. And by the way, I don't have change because I use it for tipping at the <laughs> coffee shop. <laughs> I never have any change because I give Ooh, it back it's, to the it's workers actually, of America. It's actually eleven point nine percent. Eleven point nine percent. That's a I lot. I will say that's steep. That is a lot. But you can convert it to Amazon bucks, right? And they don't take the percentage? I don't know. You see, you happen to know a lot about these Coinstar machines. <laughs> I've never used one. Yeah, but you I have. have seen You've the researched them and realized yeah. they weren't a good investment. You just, you just reser- researched for fun. Different Look, don't try to, to go down this fucking road. I'm it's going to backfire. Him. It's <laughs> not going to backfire, Nick. You're just being defensive. I'm literally not being defensive. I'm just annoyed because you've been counting coins. You couldn't wait to, like, hour. let's record so I can say the thing about the change. Oh, shut up. Let's start <laughs> recording so I can make my dumb point about the change. Oh, my God. I'm trying to get my fucking apartment clean. I got this stupid bag of change sitting around. I don't know what to do with any hey, of man, my listen. shit. Hey, man, listen. It's making your lot. You're clocking filthy. into the office, man. I know. Okay? And I'm We're podcasting. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing my, I'm, not only am I d- doing this task, 
I'm also refuting every point Adam tries to bring up and making him look worse. I don't think you are. You're, you're like a single mother, dude. Yeah. You're doing your job and providing for your family. Look, at dude, the same I just time. I have lost so much goddamn money in crypto. <laughs> and it's like not even my fault. I got fucked over, mm-hmm. you know, getting stuck in currencies that I couldn't trade out of because mm-hmm. of deceptive marketing on Coinbase's <laughs> website. And then I chased losses, trying to day trade, That's right. which that is my fault. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but if I had just been able to buy what I wanted initially, you would be rich. Yes, I w- well, I wouldn't be rich, but I'd be up a lot, a nice mm-hmm. amount of money. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? <coughs> I should fucking invest, dude. No, I can pour out. I'm making some fresh, but it's not yeah. fresh at all. Orange. Oh, d- oh, g- folks, don't now, worry. Nick has a the fresh. F- <laughs> Nick has a fresh piggy bank. He's <laughs> emptying. There's a lot of change <laughs> in his apartment. Look at this. He's already sitting right here. Probably like what is that? A uh, hundred and fifty dollars worth of change. Yeah, yeah that's a lot. Yeah. Each roll is what twenty? Ten? Uh, ten. One, two. Uh, yeah. This roll is a lot. of quarters yeah, is ten. Yeah. That's a lot of money. It is. You should take it to the casino. I mean, this is like I've been building up since I was in Chinatown. Mm. Your empire. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I'm going to go back and buy those Chinese people. <laughs> Just smash it. <laughs> Nick, smash it. Just that, that, that family taking rent money from me mm-hmm. and me narrowing my eyes at them knowing one day I would purchase them with <laughs> Yeah, change. purchase their boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Purchase their boy purchase to, their to Bitcoin people mine people for nice you. nice to me the entire <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one day I will purchase your son as a slave. <laughs> You gotta smash that piggy bank. Tell the dude. story about the uh, about the um, the fucking uh, what what is it the the black lady who grifted all these MAGA people. Oh yeah, but that was on Twitter for a while. Some, so oh yeah, they that did lady that, rules. Like, they did that like like black people leaving the Democratic Party thing. Some girl like. Posted herself in a MAGA hat and was like, uh, <laughs> I'm done with these Democrats. <laughs> is the, is the jingling she, picking up? I think, maybe. <laughs> Adam, keep telling your story. It wasn't a story. I just, I, you know, it was, for, it was a big Twitter This thing is Adam's like story time minute. <laughs> I, why are you making me tell this? I don't want to tell <laughs> God damn. Adam's got a good... Adam's got good bits he wants to contribute to the podcast. Shut is, up. Which Shut is up. Hilarious joke he Shut came up, up with, which is something he saw on Twitter. I wasn't, I didn't want to Adam's contribute. Adam's trending topic. <laughs> Here comes the trending topic from Adam Friedland. Stop jingling your change, man. Uh, damn, that was another thing. The move of breaking it. Every, in every movie, every time a kid would run yeah, away from home, break your piggy bank. They, would, they would take a hammer to the piggy yeah, bank. Yeah. That's what I want. A bunch of fucking ceramic shards all over me. Exactly. (laughs) Did you ever run away from home? Uh, For a couple hours once. Oh, badass, dude. Where'd you go? Adam Friedman's story. Shut up, dude. You're so sensitive (laughs) because I made this coin observation Why do you think I'm sensitive? I'm just like... You're the most sensitive person I know. All I said was badass, and now it's like... You're the most sensitive person I know. (laughs) You're defensive. (laughs) I'm not defensive. (laughs) That is not how it went down, my friend. Badass. Who was the older man? What the fuck, dude? I went to college with a bunch of like oil kids. Mm-hmm. Like they went to GW and they they just go to the club every fucking weekend. I remember one of them was like, "Yeah, it's Ramadan, so I can't like I can't drink Cristal, but like I could still pop the bottles." <laughs> Wait, you, exactly. You're All right. fucking wrong, dude. <laughs> there are though, and listen, in Melbourne in particular, there were a lot of fucking tracksuit guys listen, and like Hawaiian shirt guys. Salute. You want to you want to take our sartorial tips? You do that. Yeah. Maybe I should become a fashion blogger. Why? Maybe I should be a, a plus size fashion. Are you almost done? <laughs> Nick, come on, dude. Almost done here, fellas. <laughs> Nearing the end of the road. <laughs> Look, see, this is a fucking Red Dead Redemption. All right, I got back into it. You should be thanking me that I'm not playing it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Especially considering how mad I am about cryptocurrency. <laughs> I don't want to pass by a bank and they had a poster with pictures of giant coins on it and he smashed his don't face into the Don't start with the coins now. Don't start with the coins now. <laughs> Who's this guy that got drafted this name Penasini? Who? What? Did you see this? In the NFL? Yeah. No, I didn't That's see so that. No, I was, I was waiting for you guys to bring it up. Oh, dude. Uh, Penasini. No. Sports News Corner. I did watch, I don't watch a the, lot of the NFL draft. Oh, though. my God. His really name is football. John Penasini. John Penasini. <laughs> He's on the Lions. Dude, if that guy was on the Ravens, do you understand how happy I would be right now? Yeah, you could get that jersey. I would want to. I'm about to get the Penasini <laughs> jersey anyway, dude. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Defensive tackle John Pincini. <laughs> I hope he's good, dude. <laughs> Hell. I mean, it's not even like, I mean, you could probably find a bunch of Italians that have that name anyways, but it's spelled in a way where they're like, nah, you, come on, it's different. It's different. Yeah, they, they, there's no C. It's literally P-E-N-I-S-I-N-I. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, wanted like to, I wanted to call it because like 311, they're doing like, you know, if you're lonely during the, you know, if you're like sad, you can call this the government. <clears throat> I can't imagine anything more depressing than that. It's like, yeah, I'm all alone. I guess I'll call... The municipal government to talk to keep me company. Have you tried calling them about anything? What it like the, the legitimate problems you can have, like your hot water being out. If you call them, they'll tell you to go fuck yourself. So I'm like I can't. I'm kind of sad, and they're like, "Well, have you tried suicide?" It probably yeah. works like the exact opposite way. They're like, "Sir, there's Damn. a form you can fill out to have the police come kill you." I don't. I'd have to transfer you to nine different numbers to figure out what the form ex- exactly is. But I suggest to a lot of people, you could probably just kill yourself. Kill yourself, going... or if you're black, just go ahead and yeah. go ahead and just yell in the streets. Yeah, that'll probably do it. But I, yeah, I mean, like I, 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 it would be fucked up. But I did want to call them as like a like a Staten Island guy named like Anthony Loneliano. <laughs> and just trying to like an I Italian can't take like, no no like an Italian guy like trying to like first understand what depression is as an abstraction mm-hmm. because he's uh-huh. not allowed to put a name to that emotion <laughs> you know just being like yeah i don't know something's wrong with with like my my you know how i like uh my attitude or something i don't know <laughs> i don't fucking get it it's uh, yeah it's like i'm pissed but i'm too tired to be pissed <laughs> and then what I'm pissed at is my is my is you know it's nothing. It's like this fucking. It's like being self pissed. I'm pissed, but at myself. But I yeah. I'm it's like I, at I, myself, I, but I'm not that the, violent about it. It make I'm thinking about how like you know you know life is kind of like you know it's like uh, it's like a game. You're thinking about maybe you know okay. Well, they're not coming back from this. Sit down six runs. It's like. It's like the G-Man are down 22 in the yeah, fourth quarter. you know, and you're like, fuck it. Let's just get drunk and then drive home. Let's go get drunk in the parking lot. You know, that's the feeling I have. Are you experiencing depression? Whoa! Hey! Whoa, hey. Come on. I'm fucking pissed. I told you hey, I'm self-pissed. I'm self-pissed is what the feeling is. I'm mad. I'm mad. At myself. I'm fucking pissed off. <laughs> I'm self pissed off. I'm not fucking sad. I ain't fucking a girl. I'm not. A, it's like I'm a girl as, complaining. Yeah, you making me feel like a fucking woman over here. <laughs> Are, do you think you might have a trans identity? Hey, hey! Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Maybe, you know. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I don't know. Is there resources for that or something? Is the city paying for the surgery? Yeah, I'm over here. My know. dick is fucking. I, it's completely hard because I'm stuck in my apartment thinking about guys. <laughs> well, sir, maybe you're just a homosexual. Maybe you're not trans. Maybe Whoa, <laughs> pal! I'm in the union. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So is this is <gasps> your penis being hard to reason? You're self pissed, would you say? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Are you wearing <laughs> lipstick right now, sir? Yeah, I got pumps on. <laughs> yeah, I got lipstick and a pair of Jimmy Choo's. What You've the been f- watching Sex in the City, haven't nah, you? Nah, it's because it's like my fucking my construction boots. I don't got to wear them for work, so I'm wearing my wife's clothes <laughs> to keep my stuff nice for back when the jobs start back up. <laughs> And where's where, your, I gotta keep my wife right now. Sir. Hey, look, Cuomo's saying they're gonna open a city. It could be, you know, it's gonna be. They're gonna tell you, and it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be a race to get to the job sites because everybody <laughs> lost work. They're gonna not. They're not gonna pre-announce anything. It's just gonna be open up. So you gotta keep your boots nice. You gotta keep mm-hmm. all your gear nice. Mm-hmm. So all that sitting in the bedroom, and I'm out here in the living room wearing my wife's clothes, watching, <laughs> watching Logo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is where's, that the gay where's channel? Your, sir, sir, where's your wife currently? Uh, yeah, I don't know. She's been gone like four or five years. 
I, I stopped checking. I got a co- I got a cousin out in fucking Hoboken as a private eye. You know, he looked into it for a little bit, but then uh, I mean that was kind of where the trouble started because me and him were hanging out all the time, anyways. And she found she came home one time and we were you know comparing bodies. <laughs> And that's what pissed off when I said you anything. Stake out? Were you on a stakeout with your cousin? Yeah, we was, you know, because we like to pretend to be police officers ever since 9-11. We're always trying to solve crimes together. <laughs> you know, we're like, who's this fucking, who's this fucking Mulanian across the street? What's he doing, moving in? <laughs> the hell is this guy moving in for? That Where seems pretty suspicious in? to me. Let's sit in our fucking cars and look outside and then see where the night takes us. Yeah, let's fucking just hang out real late in the parking lot. Oh, night long. Yeah. <laughs> I would assume you'd have, you'd have some kind of intimacy with somebody you share that kind of bond with, sir. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that fucking word means. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about this thing of ours? Because, <laughs> this thing of ours. You know, I don't know about I don't know about getting too hot on a government line. You know. <laughs> <laughs> this thing of always being secret gay sex. Yeah, 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 on the low. Yeah, no, nah, it's just uh, the coastal. <laughs> a bunch of clauses. The coastal Italian nostra. Calling, they call it the. the I took it out. They call it the homo nostra. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. Proud. Oh. No, I'm not lonely. I'm self pissed. I told you. No, I don't miss my boyfriend at all. I don't miss my boyfriend out in fucking Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, no, there's this black guy I go out and see out in Elizabeth sometimes. And, you know, they call it down low stuff. I don't know. That's, that's you know, what I... I that's them, that's they us. Call, that's a bunch, a bunch of bullshit to me. But, you know, <laughs> whatever. If that's what he likes. I, you know, I just... I try to keep him happy so he stays away from my wife. You know, you see the dick on this guy. It's fucking... I'm worried because, you know, it's like I'm worried this guy's probably going to fuck my wife if she sees his dick. So I guess I, I got to suck it to keep him away from her. That's true. That's so I don't true. like doing it. But hey, pal, it's defense. That's called being a working man. That's called being a family man. The that's, head of the family. That's called doing your service to the labor. <laughs> doing your service to, <laughs> to the responsibilities <laughs> of hard work <laughs> and honest an honest work you gotta do. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking thing of ours. This... You took an oath. You took an oath. Yeah. It's more important than your family. It's more important than anybody in this room. Yeah. And then they all jack off onto a card. Mm-hmm. You know I can't icon. answer that question. I took an oath. Yeah. <laughs> You know I can't answer that question, Doc. Mm-hmm. It'd be great to be like one of those like smug like mafia guys on like the bench, like already deciding he's not going to testify or whatever, just like kind of taking his time in the right. chair. Hey, fuck and then you. everything the lawyer asks, he just goes, I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Yeah, in the... Uh, there must have probably. been some like James Bond Asians that he fucked. There was right? some, he probably yeah, fucked some Chinese. What is it, May Wong or some, something Wong from, from the 50s that mm, was in... Uh, nice. She's a, movie Who's a hot Asian. Yeah, yeah. There's something about. But she Sally was no Tia Carrera. Ding dong or whatever. I don't know. Sucky fucky surprise. Yeah, sucky fucky surprise. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you give me yeah. that sucky fucky surprise? <laughs> yeah, I've got those sideways blues. <laughs> <laughs> sucky fucky. <laughs> um, yeah. It's like my little picker. Don't put it in my bum. Yeah. It'd be funny if instead of black culture, Elvis appropriated Asian culture. <laughs> 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 There's just a, him on stage playing that little like trash can guitar. Mm-hmm. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you <laughs> very much. <laughs> Me no yeah. Rocky. Thank you very much. Sa- thank you, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, so, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has put his shoes back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and nothing but a hound dog being served for dinner. <laughs> 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 God, 
<laughs> I don't step on my blue suede shoes, which are placed by the door. <laughs> I'm not currently wearing them. So that's why you would step on them. Just look out for them on the way into my house where I take off my shoes. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> yeah, I like Chinese Elvis. Chinese Elvis was pretty good, man. <laughs> Respect to Chinese Elvis. <laughs> Elvis, <laughs> Chinese Elvis would be good too. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm Chinese. <laughs> Chinese Elvis. <laughs> My house is made out of paper. <laughs> Suck my blue ass dick. <laughs> Sucking on my blue ass balls. <laughs> Think about all the sponsors we've lost on this mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Yep. We the lost 700 uh, Club. <laughs> That's right. Yep. <laughs> the New Adventist Kraft. Church. Mm-hmm. Kraft. Kraft. Macaroni Halliburton. and cheese. Halliburton. <laughs> McDonald Douglas yeah. Airplanes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blackwater. Teterboro yeah. Private Airport. We used to, they used to be a... Oh, right. They used to be the a... The Westboro Baptist, Baptist Church. <laughs> mm-hmm. Baptist Church. <laughs> <laughs> they stopped advertising way too early. Yeah. They should have... They, they should have given us some time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just let just let it rock for right. a couple. Just because I said I'd suck George Carlin's dick, <laughs> that I'd go to hell and suck his dick mm-hmm. if it meant we could have uh, find out Rick a couple Moranis more words. Wife back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what else we can't say on TV, man. Yeah, that's why I want him back. Mm-hmm. You know, the Cunt seven racial it. slurs you're not allowed to say on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Jink. <laughs> <Jigaboo. laughs> Dude, that clip of him going through all the racial slurs. Oh, I, I put it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just edit out the punchline and the setup, and it's the funniest thing <laughs> in the world. It's just five minutes of him just being like, kike, honky. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, a, woo! Yeah. Like applauding. <laughs> that is good as hell. He's up there with McCain right now. You know, it's right. funny. When I started comedy, George Carlin was like a god. Mm-hmm. Like that, there was not. You couldn't be more than George Carlin in my mind. I thought George Carlin was the fucking guy. Yeah, and then I go back and watch it now, and it's mm-hmm. like this is so stupid. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still not, it's a lot it's of it's good. still really good. A lot good. of it's really good. But all that fucking wordplay nonsense. Yeah, like, download your megabytes. I hate that shit. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. yeah but I dumb. do. I actually like his first album, like Class Clown. I love that. The album. old yeah. Carlin, like the old clips of him on the Tonight Show Just when being he's like jokey. He looks kind of like a normal guy. Yeah. It's like before he became like a hippie grandpa kind of look. Yeah, yeah. He was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. And, uh, I always, I was always a Richard Pryor guy when I was like, a, I always thought he was. Yeah, the Pryor best. too. Yeah. yeah, Pryor and Carlin kind of occupied the same space in yeah, my head. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But um, then even, I but then know. yeah, my like casual yeah. comedy interests are pretty stupid. I thought like Jim Brewer was like my favorite. <laughs> yeah, comedian. yeah, yeah. You said that before, dude. Jim Brewer <laughs> hardcore. I thought he was hilarious. I thought <laughs> Pablo was the, Francisco was hilarious. Yeah, that's I remember, true. I remember yeah. being like fourteen, being like, "That's gonna be me, man. A guy that talks about weed." <laughs> yeah. Carlos no. Mencia's first half hour I really liked. Was yeah. that the one that ends with that him trying to have that like solemn note where he's like, because sometimes, then he just walks I think away. it was, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. And I was like, damn, Carlos. Really? I mean, I was I like, that was I like 11. I like, yeah. I like Dane Cook, that first one. The first, the first Dane Cook was great. It was, was the black hilarious. tank top. Hilarious, the black tank top. Yeah. I was a big Dane Cook He was guy. using the space so well, dude. He was all over that I stage. I never liked Dane Cook, but I was really? already kind of like a comedy snob. Oh, I wasn't. I was like, yeah, I was like 12 but years no, old, 13. Yeah, we were young as shit back yeah. then. Yeah, I know. I was already a, kind of a snob. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, that that I Pablo that, Francisco dude. special I saw a million comics. times. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, it was great. And Actually, you had to you do what, it on TV. You know what I miss? Liking stand-up comedy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Being yeah. able to watch it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I used to watch comedy and listen to it not all the time. Oh, I, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't want, I don't want you know, to be influenced. My yeah, art exactly. has to be pure, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My my stuff about how I don't fuck that good, I don't want I don't want anybody else. No one else in the game yeah. is doing <laughs> yeah, that. Stop, yeah, yeah, yeah. stop! You're on your Marco Polo <laughs> shit, dude. Well, it's just it's like uncharted waters, me, baby. A part of me is like, oh, well, is it because that I've been in comedy so long now that I'm jaded that like stuff I see I like judge it more harshly or whatever. But then I go back and watch older shit, and it's like, oh no, comedy used to be better. Comedy was you easily so? yes, dude. When? I went back. I went. I was like trying like to early sit 2000s? down and watch old Steve Harvey shit to laugh at it to make fun of it. And it's like this man is a, a genius. <laughs> He's he is so much better at comedy 
at stand up comedy than like anyone we're fucking friends what, with. What, the King special? No. No, his, his like independent specials. I don't think I've seen too many Dude, of those. Steve, Steve Harvey is not to be. I mean, he's like a buffoon. And he's an idiot. Are, it's silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Every then the opinion premises he are, holds the is The premises wrong. are whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that shoot, like, sh- uh, send me to Iraq, I'll kill the children. <laughs> Like, that's funny though. That's it's really funny, funny, but then his execution of that bit is also so much better than most. Well, comedians. he's performing. Yeah, yeah. He's performing, yeah, yeah. but he's like, it's fucking funny, dude. Yeah, it's really funny. I think Cat Williams is really funny. Cat yeah. Williams is great. He's amazing. Sure. Cat Williams sure. is fucking. His last awesome, special. Dude. His last special was pretty dude, fucking I, I, good. Seriously, like white people. White people voting this year in line like they got a secret. Oh, that <laughs> that act Hilarious. out. That act out <laughs> is fucking so, so funny. Goddamn when he does funny. that step forward. Yeah, the step thing. I mean, the physicality does, of it. He does that yeah, act yeah. out. But he oh, starts. He's, if I watch a couple back to back, he's the, he does a couple of the act outs at the same every time. Oh but yeah, yeah. But I'm that's all just in. like go to. Give a fuck. Yeah, you want yeah. you want the greatest hits, baby. Of course. Yeah, I mean he does just do, sweating the second. He does do fifteen he minutes, anything. fifteen minutes on Jacksonville <laughs> yeah. at the beginning of the new special. That is like, that how really the hell does this guy know so much about Jacksonville? Yeah. He's not even from there. No, comedy kind of hit a stride again in like the probably mid to late nineties, and. But well, I wasn't that, that like kind of the Doss. dark era? Well, but that was after, in, terms like, of, in terms of business, but in, t- in terms, in terms of, like, of business, who was funny? I, yeah. I wouldn't say yeah. Yeah, no. but I also do feel like there is like pe- there. I don't know, really old shit. It's kind of like watching the NBA or like old sports. Yeah, yeah, they're like, not as good. Yeah, it's just like there's not yeah. as many laughs per minute. There's not as much of yeah. that shit. And I think yeah. probably there is an there's probably an era that was like more contemporary. Yeah, that you but could compared, argue. To, I mean, look at the state comedies in, and it's like Nanette is the most popular. Oh, true. Yeah, that sucks, Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, well, as it's a, a weird. Special. I mean, comedy is so bad now that it's just moved away from comedy. Which, well, from like, stand up, hey, whatever, dude. People comedy's just, not. I don't think comedy's important. Yeah. So, well, stand up comedy. That's what I'm fucking talking. Yeah, about. yeah. I'm not, yeah. I don't mean comedy at large, but I uh, mean that. It, it, no, that's also true. They don't make comedy movies anymore. They're not profitable. They don't make them anymore. They're like the last like uh, major studio like comedy. I haven't watched Drew like, Michaels' thing yet. He just had an HBO special. Yeah, right? but there's yeah. no audience. Oh, shit, he's alone. Really? It's him. It's it's like shots of him up close, and then you know, That's weird. Is yeah, good. Yeah, I don't know. It. I haven't seen yeah. it. I mean, I'm friends with. Is him. it an hour? I like Drew, and he's a good comic, but that seems weird. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Well, I mean, what's that's her like, name? Did that uh, Maria Bamford did that for her cats? Her, no, no, she did that for her, her parents. parents. That was yeah. good, actually. But it's I like a different one. It's like how is yeah. this the evolution of She's comedy amazing, instead of just dude. writing more jokes? Right. Yeah. Well, you that's know? what I mean. It's like it's just that's just not the same thing with Nanette, where it's just like I mean, this could be good, but it's not a stand up comedy. Like it is. I don't know. And where are you going? Adam has to piss everyone. Apologize, Adam. He's, he refuses. Anyway, man. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It, it, it's I, I, There is an impulse always with anything to be like, well, everything's been done already. But it's not true. I mean, no. it's just, that, that's never fucking true. Yeah. It's standing on a stage and talking. There's infinite fucking possibilities. For sure. Do it to an audience and make them laugh. It'd just be funny, yeah. Yeah, and... I mean, that's how I feel. I don't overthink the shit. I don't overthink anything. I've try, I try not to think. You don't even, yeah, think yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget overthink. But, like, I just want to get on stage and do what's funny to me and whatever, right. we'll figure it out. Yeah. I don't really give a fuck where I stand. And I'm not really trying to, like, I mean, I'm not trying to be, re- you know, I'm not trying to be reductive, but I'm also not, like, oh, I have to be cutting edge or whatever. I'm just, I'm a fucking idiot who talks about shit that makes me feel bad and then hopefully I find a joke in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's yeah, yeah. It. I don't really. No, that's all comedy is. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I don't find it to be a higher art form. I think it's stupid. No, it's not a higher art. Yeah. It's barely art. It's barely mm-hmm. art. Yeah, yeah. But if I can, some people sometimes, like on a very rare occasion, can do something, and you're like, oh, that's good. That's that makes me like think about how you know being alive or whatever. Yeah. Louis had like a couple of jokes and specials where I've been like, oh, that's like. Yeah, that's on a different level. And I'd like to maybe have one. My goal is, but you have to, to be have like in your great special. You have to be in your forties to. Yeah, you. The, it I comes have, with like life experience and like to like get gravitas or like yeah. whatever. Or you know? me, yeah. But. Yeah, I think I think it's yeah totally fine. I mean, Cameron Cameron Esposito's her ra- she did a thing, thing called I'm, rape jokes I'm and there were any rape jokes in it <laughs> some kind of giant totem that's my going to be my life's work okay it's like a tower of babel some yes yeah, some giant tower how tall uh it's got to be taller than the world trade center obviously okay.
weekend on Long Island. I was watching TV. I'll be there, 922. Is it on Long Island or in Long Island? I think Island? they say on Long Island. Because I said in Long Island on the Patreon. Well, people incorrect. got mad at me. Incorrect. That's probably what I'm <coughs> I believe it's on. We were watching this show on TLC. It's called 90 Day Fiance. It's like where people mm. get engaged to yeah, an infant. A 90 Day Fiance. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. A little Asia yeah. Argento <laughs> reality show. They get they engaged to the boy to How fucking <laughs> fucked up is it that Anthony Bourdain <laughs> killed himself because his wife was cheating on him with a baby? <laughs> That is really funny. Baby, up. please get Rock that star chef. baby out of your pussy. <laughs> that's my, that's my uh, uh, what's his name? Bourdain. Mm. It's anyway, basically Obama. They're about people finding, yeah. uh, like. I'm Anthony Bourdain. I'm Anthony Bourdain. I'm and I'm, I'm also Ryan I'm Shuck. gay and I'm Ryan Shuck. <laughs> 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 So anyway, so yes. you, they find like people online or whatever, and they fall in love with them, and they bring them to the states. And then, in order to get a green card, you have to get married within ninety days. Mm. So a lot of them are just like you know horny like middle aged men, like they're, they're paying like Asian women. They're like yeah, like in I like, like Filipino style women. Like I've been married four times, but they like <laughs> they have the best feet, you know, like those kind of guys. Well, there was one guy that was clearly getting catfished by a Colombian Hell man yeah. who was just awesome. sending him nudes from some random woman. Awesome. She had like different tattoos. And different Filipino, pictures. Filipino, it's Philippine hole, and it's a sounding community. Yeah, that's cool. that's good too. Yeah. The Asian people, they're like, yeah, I love to get uh, <laughs> when you shove a, a pencil on my dick hole. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that. I'm Philippine hole. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's I'm actually good. Korean. I love, <laughs> no, I love I love wearing sandals <laughs> and having a pencil shoved in my dick hole. That's <laughs> Philippine hole. That's Philippine hole. He's got a name like. <laughs> Juan Sanchez. Yeah, I love that. So I love this, when they when they have Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> there's this massively fat woman from Georgia. <clears throat> She's like got like a super deep voice from like 80 years of smoking cigarettes. Awesome. Hell yeah. And some Nigerian guy yes. just wrote her a Facebook yes. message. Please let like, me touch all you of are so beautiful. You are and such she's a like, big oh my God, he stole my heart right there and then. Wow. So they start like they start messaging and stuff, and then she's like, "I see he's been interacting with other women on social media." So I'm going over to Nigeria, and I'm no. gonna propose to him. I'm gonna say, "You're gonna get married to me, or we're gonna break up." Because I can't do this anymore. Are you kidding? She yeah. went to Nigeria. So she goes did the to show Nigeria. follow her there? The show follows her to yes. Nigeria. Damn, they got like, that kind of budget on 90 Day Fiance. Well, she paid. I mean, well, I guess the production yeah. staff had to pay, but whatever. It's it's a fucking sick show. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get into reality shows. More reality shows. I got to do that. It is a really good show. Now you should I'm, watch this I'm one. I'm off social media. I should get back into fucking HGTV. And yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been watching Chopped like it's my damn job, dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. I love Chopped. So he's like, I cannot have any pictures of you on my phone because if I get pulled over by police, then they see pi- pictures of a white woman, they're going to think I'm a scammer. And I'm definitely not a scammer. <laughs> Because everyone thinks because I'm Nigerian that I'm a scammer. <laughs> like, it's a stereotype that I have to deal with all the time. It must suck to be the actual prince of Nigeria. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Did somebody already did, did Probably, that? but who, okay, you know. Whatever. We did that good luck Jonathan bit that one time. What? I forgot what the bit was. We just Is mentioned it? his name. Oh, no, his friends being like, oh, you know what I'm going to call you? <laughs> I'm going to call you good luck because I forgot what the setup was. <laughs> yeah, whatever. No idea. Anyway, so she gets <laughs> yeah, to Nigeria. She no. gets to Nigeria and there's like, you know, fucking this massively <clears throat> fat like Just real quick, Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, Gaiji. Mm-hmm. Um and then she mm-hmm. gets to the house and it's like I would like, like to suck on your penis. <laughs> Go ahead, Adam. <laughs> or uh, even better, Nigeria <laughs> and it's shit. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a different version of Nigeria. <laughs> And she gets off the plane. She gets to his house. You know, and this is like dirt. So we're talking house. some like big fat. I'm guessing blonde southern bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she's like a grand. Coming up next on Big Fat, I'm <laughs> guessing blonde southern bitch. <laughs> no, you got <laughs> it. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she's like, um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'm blonde. She's like, so anyway, I got you a gift from the United States. And she pulls out a MAGA hat, a Trump T-shirt, yes, American flags. Like a whole so like out, what is like this Trump bitch outfit? So she's going, she is literally going to Africa <laughs> to try and get an immigrant, <laughs> a scammer. <laughs> God damn, makes, what a dumb she bitch! Makes this poor, <laughs> she makes this African guy put on all the Trump stuff. He's like. This is so cool. <laughs> so this is Malik Obama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Malik. Malik, Obama. salute. Salute to Malik. <laughs> Brother is a faggot. <laughs> Do you ever see him tweet? He's like, He's what, just, is, what is this million dollar extreme stuff all about? Did anyone, yeah. call, him, did anyone call him Wobama? 
No, I don't, I don't think so. so yeah. Obama would be a good name for mm-hmm. him. What happened to him? He had a, he was hot in the streets. Well, the Barack Obama's not during president during the election. Anymore. No, no, like no, no. Yeah, he was taking he, shots. Yeah, during the during election, election yeah. he was like everywhere. I'm on the Trump train. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was so funny. I feel like Malik should be some. I feel like Fox News should have him still talking. I, I hope dog. he's licking peanut butter off a clit right as we speak. It's fluke. Do you ever yeah. see that movie Fluke? No. no. It's about a, a husband that. Uh, Dies, and uh, and uh, comes back as the family dog. Hell yeah! And then the guy that killed him starts fucking his wife. What? Yep. And then Yo, the dog has sucks. to watch that happen. And he's powerless as a dog, or does he like get revenge? No, he can't do anything. I think it turns out at the end of the movie that you realize he's like misremembering and that he was a dick. Uh-oh. And that his friend was like innocent or whatever. <laughs> what he's been, sl- yeah. That's a wild twist. He's been sleeping the whole time. Well, it's like his punishment for being an asshole is he's got to watch his friend uh, who's jealous of fuck his wife, and he's just a dog that shits and pisses and that's pretty funny. Has to clean his own asshole with his mouth. <laughs> Ebenezer sucks. Scrooge style. Does he, he get go- dog pussy or do they chop his nuts off? Because that's big. That matters. I don't remember if they chop. Hold on. <laughs> Fluke, IMDB. <laughs> Siri. <laughs> Siri. Oh, you'll need to suck my dick first. <laughs> That's right, brother. I hate Siri. Dude. Um, Fuck that bitch. I thought Fluke. you changed it to a man's voice, Nick. I thought you changed your voice to a man's girlfriend's voice. to a man's Pussy to a man's dick. <laughs> I got you, brother. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to Google Fluke I over know, here. Man. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's teamwork, dude. We're like the guys that built the subways, throwing hot rivets at each other. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> to die at any moment. Hot riffs. But we love it, dude. But we love the game. Um, the arts and entertainment. Game. Fluke film in 1995. Five film, is that the, that's not the one with Tim Allen when he becomes a dog, is it? No, that'd be funny. Yeah, if that like, <laughs> oh, war. it's it's got Matthew Modine in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't. Re- he's the voice of the dog. Eric Stoltz plays the friend. Oh wait, we never see the man as a guy. Um, I think early on. I don't know. Look here. Okay, plot. Fluke is a mutt puppy, a wrong colored golden retriever. Mm, so black golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Played, <laughs> yeah, it could be played by dog actor Buddy. Now this, uh, now this is the do- oh, Airbud. So oh, it's the oh, same it's dog. Airbud. It's the same Dude. dog. Um, prestige. That's prestige. Airbud. You make one for them, one for you. Dude, Airbud. <laughs> Airbud's art house. Airbud. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Airbud has a uh, 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 his own Wikipedia page. This is great. Respect. Yeah, species, breed, in the info box. Born May thirtieth, nineteen eighty-eight, Sierra Nevada. Died February tenth, nineteen ninety nine, age nine. And I know yeah. it's a dog, but it's just so funny. <laughs> On eldest nine year old dying. Eldest wow. eighth owner, birthday. Owner Everybody Kevin DeChicho. Some the WAP. Kevin Chicho was Kevin, the dog yeah. man. Wait, hold on. This guy's name listen to this. Buddy was found by and this is this guy's name. Kevin Kevin DeChicho. <laughs> His name was Kevin no twice. Way. His name was Kevin Kevin. <laughs> No Some fucking, this, is, this is like the world's dumbest Italian. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ma, ma, what is it, Kevy Kev? I found the dog. I'm going to be fucking famous. I'm going to make the dog play basketball in the picture shows. His he dog. was only nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> this is... The Chicho adopted the disheveled golden retriever and brought him home to San Diego where he trained him in the sports of basketball, baseball, football, and soccer. Absolute respect. Yeah, Kevin, Buddy's Kevin. most <laughs> eagerly awaited sport was basketball. He was touted as the Michael Jordan of dogs. <laughs> well, I think we, you could tell that if you see what the movie. The f- How do you train this fucking, dog in- This fucking dog is the Michael Jordan <laughs> of dogs, except not a fucking quadroon, you know what I mean? <laughs> not, not a fucking baba la boom. <laughs> He's man's best friend. Not a orangutanichio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Kevin Kev, with the fucking dog that's gonna kick all the fucking moolies out the NBA. We're gonna take sports back with the fucking dogs. Kevin Kev. <laughs> His goal was to get black people <laughs> to replace blacks with dogs. Some in the fucking NBA. dumbass walk. <laughs> That's oh, Kevy Kev is clearly. I'm so glad I looked at the Airbud Wikimedia page. This is incredible. He's clearly a witness protection mafia guy oh, who moved to true. San Diego. Good point. Yeah, the Chicho and then he revealed training dogs. Wait, wait. 
The Chicho revealed that Buddy... This is unreal. The Chicho revealed that the buddy, buddy tried to bite the ball, but its slipperiness, enhanced by saliva, or more efficiently by olive oil, would propel oh, it from his mouth. Yeah. This fucking grease ball wobble. You gotta lube up the ball hey, whoa, you with some extra hoops. virgin. What are you telling me? You shoot hoops dry. <laughs> nah, you <laughs> poor fucker. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> run your hand through your head, get some of that... <laughs> Get some of that Bertucci's all over your fingertips. That's how the ball slides around so the dog can't get a good purchase on it. Because I'm telling you, when he's playing those fucking moolies, they're going to be greased up. Hey, get fucking coconut oil. We, we got our own. Yeah. Yeah, they're covered in... Uh, got that cocoa butter. Cocoa yeah. butter, yeah. I guess he was on America's Funny and Some Videos, and then they would like Having sex stupid with Petrix, yeah. Having sex with the dog. Illness and death. <laughs> <laughs> Bob hey, Saget, check this out, Bob. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Saget throwing to clip. It's a guy coming home from work. His wife's fucking a dog. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Back to the studio audience. They're like, oh, up for fuck. the $10,000 prize. We <laughs> cucked by the dog. <laughs> We should edit together like bestiality <laughs> porn with Americans Funniest Home Videos. Yeah, Mr. Hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It first no, gained yeah. prominence. On <laughs> it starts. It starts off the dog. He's already a dog. So oh, we're back. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're back. Oh, wow. Not a flu. Already a dog. Yeah. I want to know about more about Kevin. Kevin. After being taken to a pound and eventually escaping, he's raised by an elderly homeless woman named Bella, who gives him the name Fluke, stating that he is a fluke by nature, a fluke by name. Fluke supports Bella by helping her earn money from passing strangers and press with Fluke's ability to beat Shella's, Bella's shell game. After Bella dies of an illness due to poor conditions, Fluke meets a streetwise dog named Rumbo, voiced by Samuel L. Jackson. Hell yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A black-ass dog. Yeah. I used to play basketball, and then I had to come back as a dog. <laughs> Takes yeah. him to see a man named Bert. Who I killed him. myself after I lost a free throw shooting competition mm -hmm. to some guy named Kevin Kevin's yeah. dog. To some, <laughs> some fucking wop with a golden retriever. <laughs> hey, we got one. One down, yeah. a couple mil to go. Yeah, so now, now he's... Okay, so this is the first act. Is this him is just, wildly convoluted already. Yeah, the first act is just him finding out that he was a guy named uh, Thomas P. Johnson who died in a car crash. <laughs> and then he's abducted by Ron... So ev in this world, Ron, every he's dog... Abdu yeah, is act two, he's abducted by died. Ron Perlman to wow. be used in makeup experiments. Uh, are, are they... <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't make me gay. Yeah. <laughs> so he's being turned gay by Ron Perlman. <laughs> well, this movie sounds incredible. Oh, this is great. During his captivity, Rumbo comes to the rescue, and Rumbo is shot by Sylvester as he and Fluke escape. So I like it even in movies where <laughs> the black man is a dog. He still dies. <laughs> he's the first one to kill. Also, it's not even like a horror movie. There's no reason to kill it's the a dog. It's family comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's enough screen time for you, Sam. Dying Rumbo tells Fluke that the black and white snapshot of a man in a sailor suit on Bert's wall was him and Bert. And him and Bert was his brother, and then he wishes to smell the sea again, suggesting that he died in the line of duty. So I guess Samuel Jackson was in the Navy, uh -huh. and he came back uh. as a dog. Wait, but the one guy's punishment was he's a dog. Samuel Jackson's a good guy who served this country faithfully, like Michael I don't Corleone. think. I think I implied the punishment part. Oh. Like Michael Corleone. Yeah, so he goes and he finds his family. And, uh, yeah, and he realizes... So he doesn't remember he's a man. He has to No, he remembers this. he's a man. He, he realizes his family, that he was a, a distant workaholic to his family. So at this point, he's found his family. He knows who he is, his identity. He went and found his wife and got adopted by him. As more memories return, Fluke suspects that his human death was caused by his former, former business partner, uh, Eric Stoltz, enraged by this. And then now his, his Jeff is, Eric Stoltz is fucking his wife. Nice. Um, and then, yeah, so he bites him and ends up getting put outside. Then animal control comes, and then Fluke is forced to run away. Mm. And then the son goes missing looking for the dog. Oh, this is sun. a fuck. This is a lot. Yeah, I this remember this movie. being like a children's movie. Yeah, this, this has so it's pretty much plot, plot heavy. Dude. Yeah, yeah. The fluke barks for passing driver to help Jeff before. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, a passing driver. Just that, also oh, imagine yeah. the, the fluke hiding in the backseat of Jeff's car while later as comes close to killing Jeff by causing him to get in a car accident <laughs> like his own. 
So the dog tries to kill his former business partner. <laughs> respect, said, though. I got to say respect. Fluke then has another He's flashback and realizes that Jeff wasn't responsible for his death. Instead, Fluke had caused his own death when he recklessly drove on the wrong side of the road just to argue with Jeff one day and swerved off to avoid a hitting an oncoming truck. What? Jeff later tried to save him but failed. An injured Jeff, implied to have realized Fluke's true identity by bearing on ill will, tells Fluke to go find Brian before the latter catches hypothermia from the falling snow. What the fuck? Is Brian the son? Brian's the son. So he almost, he's almost killed his son now. He's almost killed his business partner after he killed himself. <laughs> and the business partner somehow realizes it's him? Is that, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. correct? <laughs> <laughs> How does it end? Um, Carol tries to coax Flukes into coming home with them and said Fluke digs away the snow in front of his tombstone to show Carol who he is by uncovering the word forever at the bottom, a phrase he often said to her as a human. Ah. Carol is shocked, but now fully understands. Now everyone gets it. Yeah, yeah. right. Everyone's head, like, yeah, it's real. I love how all these humans, real. with a these heavy heart, Fluke leaves and trusting his family to Jeff for their happiness. He tells the audience that life is simply meant to be cherished in any form. <laughs> Far and away and sometime later, Fluke is resting under a tree on a farm by himself. To his surprise and happiness, he is reunited with Rumbo. Now reincarnated as a squirrel. I like that. <laughs> Samuel Jackson can't get just going fucking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> he he's saved going this list. white dog. Yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, Rumbo, who is now a talking piece of shit, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. is a literal turd. He's going down the food chain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Proving once and for all that black people are destined to a life of moving down the <laughs> karmic caste system. <laughs> Ultimately, always in servitude of white, other white animals. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn, what a fucking dumbass movie. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember it being good. Yeah, yeah. Come, that's Come Town Cinema for you folks. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, let me ask you something. How come this fucking dog, <laughs> <laughs> if he's going to come back as some, why don't you come back as something cool, like a bulldozer or a gun? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would do personally. Yeah, yeah, well, I would never come back as no fucking dog. Yeah. Yeah. Was I that? would come back as a, as a <laughs> fucking dildo. Yeah. <laughs> John's I'm all up in a girl's <laughs> pussy every fucking day. I would come back as as my own dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that my what I want to be reincarnated as is me with a bigger dick. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I've always wanted. Just me with three inches more dick. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful reincarnation, if you ask me. That's I would I come think back. That's the Brahma's cast. I would come back as a Comanche <laughs> helicopter. Nice. And then circle around the Levant, killing, <laughs> killing people, trying to wed their terrorist relatives. <laughs> Bombing <laughs> weddings. And affront to God, both fucking your cousin in the marriage and being a terrorist. And me, the beautiful Hellfire missiles launching off my Comanche body, destroying those 16-year-olds. I just said... You hit the record, though. I just said... You Adam, just go make the coffee. Go Why make, the make the coffee? You were the one who asked for it. Nick said, I'm going to make coffee. Make the coffee now. Make it. Let I can't it. hear that it. stuff. I don't have headphones on. Uh, yeah, you can't hear it because... Uh, hold on. I'm not wearing headphones. Oh. Um, yeah, it's in the, uh, the back of my car. My, okay, my car we'll should be later. unlocked, but and if it's not, the keys are on the code we'll rack. Make it later. Just Adam's, make it now. You just woke up from a nap. Adam's, Adam's taking naps. I'm cranky. Yeah, so make some fucking coffee to fix your attitude before I fix it for you. You're for yelling every, at me. I'm not yelling everybody, at you. For everybody. Why what, are you yelling at doing? me, Nick? You're about, he's, got five, he's about to get five across the lips. I'm going to give you a fucking backhand if you don't I'll fix your I'll give you something attitude. else across your lips. I would fuck you up, Adam, right now if we fought. Yeah. If we fought right now? I would fuck you up so... That's not true. E- I would dispatch you so easily. That's not true because I fight by Israeli army rules. <laughs> no. Sorry, bitch. There are no rules. White so. phosphorus. There's no, you don't have Grabbing that men's shit. penises. That I will Scratching. have to look out for. Gaza. No Biting. rules, yeah. just right. Yeah. <laughs> the Gaza Steakhouse. The Gaza Steakhouse. <laughs> Welcome. Come on into the Gaza Steakhouse. <laughs> Everything comes with hummus on it. Actually, that nap made me feel good. I don't even call. <clears throat> well, uh, you better you start want, fucking yeah, behaving go, like go it. In the, get in the back of my car. Go. There's some seltzer. I'm right not going to get in the back of your go car. Ahead, why don't you Just go get ahead. in the back of the car. Go ahead and get in the back. Why do you keep telling me to go in the back, back of your of my, car? My it's station, cold outside. My station wagon. Yeah. yeah. Station. Second station wagon my in the crew. The yeah. state. Yeah, the second Uh-oh, one in the crew. What are you accusing him of? Copying. I would have gotten a sedan if I had seen a... 
What do you little, th- little two forty for sen- sedan for sale? But they didn't. They didn't really. What do you out. say about Adam's charges of copying? Um. I mean, his, he doesn't even have a car. Stav has agreed with me off the record that his, you copied. Here's, I've never said anything. Yes, you did. You said, I'm a you neutral got, observer. He said, you got a station wagon. I'm sucked suck dick swirling. What I got was an old car. I mean, it just happened to be a My city. car is old, too. It's, no, it's 15, 16 years old. It's your car. Your car should not be in the condition that it's in. What's the what condition? Inoperable. You have to have your girlfriend fix it for you. She's not fixing it for me. How funny is that? We went out of town, and he's like, he's like, babe, can you help me with the car? (laughs) You have to have your girlfriend. That's bull. That is what happened. Let's be honest. What are the facts? No, this is. Did you leave, and then did your girlfriend fix your car? Are those the facts? I left, and she. she, There was a flat on the car. She was borrowing. And who took care of it? Who took care of it? I called fucking AAA for her so she could get a tow oh, and get you a do, new wheel. Who had to deal with that? Who, Who deals took with care that? of it? I took care of it because I you had a warranty. Of I had a warranty at Costco. <laughs> I don't think he took care of it. You don't want to be swindled Costco, by the working <laughs> men. So you have your. She got a new. She got a new wheel, but she was borrowing the car for the week and the car had a flat. And After had we were already it. upstate. Mm. Don't didn't drink even, my per, don't bring my personal didn't even traumas check, into didn't this. even check your car before you gave it to the woman. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. recklessly giving a broken car Girl, to girlfriend. a very nice woman. There wasn't a woman. broken car, more about cars tire. than you. What do you mean knows more about you? There was a flat tire. You're 15 years older than her, and she knows more than about All right, Nick. Cars. All right, Nick. How is that? They're, her generation didn't even grow up with cars. They that just had, doesn't make any sense. They had, they had cars. iPads. Everyone had cars. That they took, doesn't make any sense. They took taxis like, everywhere. <laughs> they took electric. That's that's you're you're even losing Stavros on this. That's the type of car. What do you mean even Stavros? Well, you guys were both uh, doing a two for one, and now you're. That's true. He did now lose me. He's he did lose me with that with this part. car thing. But I nothing admit, changed. You did lose me. But what did I lose? I don't know. It's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I got too aggressive, but the point didn't I don't change. Know, it's a vibe. What do you guys? You the guys are mad at me because I took I got a nap to, for fifteen minutes. No, I lost him in coffee. I lost him in terms of the aggressiveness. I was he not, now. I did not tell anyone I was going to make coffee. <laughs> you did. You Why am I in trouble for you? Woke up. You woke up cranky. Right? I didn't wake up cranky. I was. You woke I had up an erection. With, you I woke up with a hard you, dick, and you tried to get I me to touch it. I literally woke up and I said, "Stop! I have a I have a boner right now." You said, "I don't believe you." I said, "So you can touch it." I said, "You can I see out. it?" No, I said, "Let me see it." I showed you through. No, the blanket. I want to see your bare cock. Okay. Well, next time I get an erection, I'll show, show it. Show me you. the bare cock. I don't have one right now. The point is, listen. You woke up. You needed coffee. I didn't need coffee. I feel fine right now. You were. You asked for coffee. All right. If I woke up and I wanted to get my dick hard... Okay, right before I took my 15-minute nap, we said 4 p.m. Okay, yeah. and Nick said, I'm going to make some coffee. We'll get it going at 4. I don't remember that. Yes, And then did. I ended up jump roping. Okay, so you jump roped. I thought you made coffee. I just asked if oh, there was coffee. Oh, I didn't coffee. know you had a verbal promise from Nick. I thought you... I just asked if there I was coffee. So Nick's in breach. You're said, in breach of contract. I said, I want to have a cup of coffee. I never said I was making mm. it. Adam said, do you have a grinder? And I said, yes, it's in the car. That's true. That's true, Adam. How do you... Yeah, you brought your coffee grinder from the city. Yeah. You know what? We shouldn't Actually, be fighting. I didn't, in front I didn't of the bring kids my. Like I, have a, I have a better coffee. This is probably right tearing the audience. What I brought, <laughs> what I brought is no, a, they like a little insight to the drama. I brought is a coffee grinder. I'm planning on either giving to somebody or throwing out. That just happens to be. In what the kind of a grinder. coffee grinder? This is some like KitchenAid coffee grinder. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, now that I'm like trying to learn coffee, Mr. Coffee over here. I got like you're saying out. you're planning yeah. on giving it to someone that happens to be a woman. No. Is that what you just said? He didn't say it was a woman. Well, it sounds uh, like you got some some weird thing. I thought you were there. bragging about giving garbage to women. Wow. Like things that you're... Adam, see, this is why I'm saying you need a cup of women. coffee. Yeah. Because you're being cranky right now. I'm not being cranky. I bought both of you guys Christmas gifts today. You did? Yes. Well, now you're changing the to subject. Us. I told you guys what the you Christmas gifts are. Us. It's already... I, I don't have them yet. I, I ordered them. It's already It's already January. It's already December 30th. I know. December it's a late... 30th. It's a late... <laughs> it's a late First of all, I don't have breasts. Even at my fattest, I you didn't do really that. have breasts. I mean, I've grabbed them before. <laughs> Not really. It's I'm, very funny to claim that you don't have breasts. <laughs> I don't really have I've breasts. I've left-hand palmed you and right-hand jacked myself. Let's put it this myself. way. They could be way worse. That's true. 
I fuck girls with smaller titties than you. That's not true. Well, that's you his, know what? That's his that's type. true, but that's on that's your That's not my that's, type. That's yeah. on your like that's like saying, you know, I can you say know it. I like big natural. No, you don't. I'm no, on you're listen, co- now now we want to talk about copying. Uh, yeah. We would, n- that <laughs> now Oh my we're, god, you're the now first guy we're that talking about copying. Mr. Xerox over here. I've yeah. loved I've loved Big Natural. You're my saying whole life. station wagon. Meanwhile, but Nick bought an old car to work on. Have you done a stitch of work on your fucking Carmelo Soprano wagon? Yes, no, I motherfucker. Did. Yes, no. I did. You haven't done shit. You I have done some Right work. now, you're you going to somewhere replacing the fucking tail. You bought it and immediately got into an accident. Okay. That's right. First of all, that was not my and fault. And now, you after, after, after no, that was not bragging my about fucking women with small It was a cannabis user. It was a cannabis <laughs> user. <laughs> by the way, on the Long Island Expressway, <laughs> they made a sudden stop, <laughs> and I was following a little. <laughs> control close. your vehicle. <laughs> Thank you. Maintain control you of your vehicle. You can't go from, s- from saying you fuck girls with sm- oh, smaller tits than me, which, by the way, I Pathetic fucked all on types your, of tits. On your behan- behalf. I fucked all, all women with all t- different sizes. That's number one, because my tits are not big. They're little, and they don't look that good. If it was on a woman, I wouldn't be that thrilled if I had tits like mine. Now, as a fat man, these are the best tits you can possibly have. But on a lady, these are not good tits. Secondly, you cannot... You cannot establish yourself as a guy who fucks girls with titties like this and then in the same breath claim to love big naturals. I've always When loved I have naturals. been on the fucking record since before this podcast mm-hmm. about loving big to ass titties. Making copies. <laughs> to claim that liking <laughs> That's big, you. Big You're Rob Schneider. Is your You're thing. the copier. The Out copier. of the three of us, it is my thing. That liking big breasts in this well worn in this well jam- yes. copiers jammed and copier, yeah. asshole number one. <laughs> We've got a dick jammed in the copier. That's asshole true. number one. That's true. Please empty the copier's mouth. It's filled with cum. <laughs> Error. <laughs> Error. The copier's <laughs> been nutted in and it's jammed up with nut from copying too much. <laughs> so that's you, by the way. The the copier. Mr. Xerox. Mm-hmm. All right, man. The Batman villain. Listen, Mr. it didn't Xerox. bother me that you got the second station wagon in the crew. It's just officially the second <laughs> station wagon in the crew. That's you all keep I'm saying. Br- you keep bringing this up as if I give a shit. Oh, cool. I don't sure. care. I'm just I'm just putting something on the record. Adam, no, you sound Adam, mad, dude. I don't sound mad at all. I'm you're not being mad. trolled and you're I mad. had a great nap. Have I a woke nice up with day. <laughs> you have been trolled. Have a nice day. No, you right. you are you have been you're trolled. trolled. <laughs> oh, no. I've, I've been trolling. You're both you're trolling. trolled. I've, I've been doing a long term troll on you. you and then the trap is nearly set, Nick. <laughs> oh, I'm chill. Wow, the trap really? is nearly set. Fuck. You might think you've had little victories all along the way. Yeah, that's why you're making war. But the war <laughs> I've fought a war of attrition for years. No. A war of attrition. That sounds like being trolled to me. That's me, I didn't even know a war was going on. I was just having a good time jump roping. That's right. Eating pizza that's been left out for three days. I would that's like right. is there any more cold pizza? There's plenty. Yeah. There's all of the uh this, for some reason the meat lover dev- didn't get touched despite having a huge meat loving copying piece of shit <laughs> right here in front of me. <laughs> I wouldn't describe <laughs> Stavros that way. What? Oh, why would you the, point at Stavros? He pointed at you. Loving <laughs> now you're just lying to the audience. Yeah, and that's something I've I can't. never lied to the audience. And that's yeah. something both of I you can. guys, both of you guys, every single episode spew lie after no. lie <laughs> to these kind souls. No, these oh my god, boys. you think they're, the you show. think they're gonna fall for this little fucking stunt? Adam? I would love to have an argument for the entire. episode. You think this is how this, they're yeah. gonna fall for this? I little think it's stunt? finally time we have an argument the entire episode. I think it's fine. <laughs> a lot of people think the premise of the show is that we bully Adam, but the truth is that's never actually happened. No, no. it doesn't. It's never even got. We've never even gotten close to bullying. No, him. No, 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 no. We and just never have to. Will. We keep him in check. <laughs> I think what you need to do is go make a little coffee. You can't kill a man who's already dead. You have to go make a little coffee. Yeah. Well, you that's can't. Me, the you ghost. can't kill a man who's not even a man. That's right. You're we killing can kill a, little, a woman, a little girl, baby, who's not even born yet. Your girl <laughs> sperm. That's true. Listen, you're, Nick, you're, you're always you're a little sperm with a pussy instead of a no, tail. Yeah, you're always you've always been, you're, you're a girl. You're a sperm. That's like, hey, boys. That's you've right. always been and jealous of me because I'm 18 months older. It's a, we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> That's the one thing you're not allowed to bring up on the show. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Everyone who listens knows. <laughs> You've been jealous. Nick wants to be 18 months old. I he wishes sh- he was 18 months old. I feel so old. fucking gay. Mm, because true. my birthday is late. Oh, now he's just leaving. <laughs> 
You better bring pizza for the crew. If you you're better going. bring that meat lovers pizza in here. You better bring the whole fucking pizza. The beat lovers. That's right. The beat lovers. Beating off. Suck me on. What they call the everything bagel at the place we went to? The tornado. Suckley's. Um, Suckley's delight. What the yeah. fuck? Only one slice. You're Are you're you fucking there insane. Only one slice. There is an entire pizza. Give me there. a slice of that and go, go right have right. the sausage. I'm the guy who ordered pepperoni mushroom. No, I was going to share the one slice that I found. There's a whole fucking I would have brought more slices if there were more slices. Let's see. We Wow. How the fuck did that happen? There was only one slice left. I guess. Did you, you guys are midnight snackers. I had a slice at 3.48. I had a slice at 7 a.m. That's what happened. Yeah, it's weird because I, I during the Will, day, Will and I were hitting the Frank do I'm suck a, I'm, line I'm, I'm, a little bit hard. I'm a daytime guy. I wake up. No, gotta, I'm a nighttime snack. No, uh, yeah, see, at 10 a.m. I'm, I'm gorging myself, and then I nighttime, woke up starving. I'm starving. Mm -mm. My crazy. pattern when I'm really in the fucking eating zone, we the first meal of the day is around 5 p.m. Oh, because I'm I'm so fucked up off what I ate last <laughs> night. <laughs> That I can't even stomach the idea of eating anything. I love yeah. that, dude. I went to the Pakistanis. They were so rude that I had it shipped over to the Greek guys that I can trust. Mm -hmm. Damn, that Will Maddocker is making us dinner, and it smells great. It smells better than my fucking little dick. It smells better than Adam has ever smelled in his life. That's true. And you probably haven't smelled better than bolognese. What? My body? <laughs> yeah, yeah, your pheromones. No, I'm getting into scents. I told your you. Your pheromones can... First of all, that's... 2020... Culturally, is, that's cheating. That's I, bullshit. You, know what? you don't that's worry. I just, never, can I just you say this? worn cologne one time around that's, me. Can I say this? As it's the Greek last guy, episode of the cologne. year. I just want to say, you have an awful attitude today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened during your nap. <laughs> I feel you, fine. Like, no, you know what it is? You know what it is? I'm standing up for myself. <laughs> uh, we're not even going after you. You like you just started off, you're like, you copied my station wagon. You don't <laughs> like the fire. Okay, well, you're the cop. I was lightly teasing you you're about that. <laughs> it was a light tease. It was a okay, rib. Okay, that's fine. I'm like, rib. I'm no, we're not even going. I'm no, no one's going after you here. Yeah. No been, your trying, attitude is bad. I've been trying admit. to talk about PlayStation 5 the No, you haven't brought time. it up one time. <laughs> yeah, because I've been trying to, and you keep saying, I, I've only sucked 18 dicks. I've, I've never said that. <laughs> you did. You keep bringing like... You've you've been been saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You've been saying that my... I've only sucked 18 dicks. My car is broken because I had a flat <laughs> wheel, and then my Fast girlfriend forward. has to fix, fix my car for me. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is you should have... If you had made the coffee... No problem. If I you have to asked, have your, you, he plans. He manipulates the situation to plan to be out of town because he knows he'll get. Mm. He'll want to kiss the tow truck driver. That's true. And so he that, okay. Like, if that's true, then you're being a good boyfriend. Mm. If you're keeping yourself out of tempta yeah, situations of temptation, where <laughs> the tow truck driver I can't comes, do that, and he's so hot and he's got so much grease on no, his I'm overalls. I'm What's that great? movie? Sure the last card? temptation of Christ about? Is it about sucking cock? No, it's it about is, sucking it is. cock. Yeah, it's about, about no. Well, it's about. Getting it's pussy. About pussy, yeah. Which is awesome. And who wrote that? A Greek guy. Who? Uh, Scorsese. No, bitch. Kazakis. And it's he about wrote it. it's about what, Adam? It's about getting pussy. Is that the joke answer or the real answer? Both. It actually is both in this case. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll give him that. It's a great movie. I'll give him that. It's about getting pussy, which is cool. Mm -hmm. It's funny that they made a, ch a movie about God, and his biggest issue is whether he can get pussy or not. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of God that I identify with. Yeah, your God's got pussy. How great is our God? Our God is a horny God. Damn, can you imagine how bad this podcast is going to be when we're 42 <laughs> years old? Brutal. We're making fucking $900 between the three of us on, on <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's three people still subscribed, and they're the only fans that haven't died of colon cancer. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I've been listening to this show since the beginning. I live with my mom. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, Shut sh the fuck up. Don't look me in the Shut eyes. Shut up, Eric. I don't even know. Eric, him. stop coming to my house. My roommate who I have to <laughs> live with now. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're definitely in a group home with come yeah. down, who we don't pay rent to because yeah, they yeah, treat yeah. us like Kenny Powers. Yeah, they're just in there. <laughs> we make them sit in their bedrooms while they're listening to the show. That sounds like a great episode out there, Shut guys. the fuck Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm not going to tell you again. We're not listening to you right now. Anyways, so what I, I, what I was saying was, I've been paying child support for seven years. It's not even my kid. <laughs> I, I, to put the math together, I didn't never even fuck this bitch. 
<laughs> Somehow I At just first, Yeah I signed yeah. the papers Because I, I thought it was the, cool To have sex I thought yeah I, thought I haven't it, fucked in 10 years I thought it I was just trying to The pussy from the show Is dried up It dried up Almost instantly <laughs> So, so yeah, I basically signed whatever because she said she was going to let me see her pussy. Yeah, and I signed it. And so then as similar soon as I to that, signed it, that situation where Adam tricked us into signing those papers, and then we have to do this forever. Yeah. He gets all the money. <laughs> so he licensed the show, and now there's a show called Come Town that's just rebranded episodes of Disney's Recess in Spanish. <laughs> Most popular show in America. But the snitch character is the good guy. Yeah. Adam's favorite show. Randall with a Yankees fitted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a Yankees yarmulke. Uh, hey, guys, I just gripped a Yankees fitted. <laughs> That's so cool, Randall. Yeah. <laughs> You're the coolest kid in third grade. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> now, does anybody want to do drugs? I do. Get him, officer. No, me in the garage for like nine days. I just walk in completely nude with an owl perched on top of my head, and I go in the fridge, and I eat some bologna. And I'm like, oh, yeah, hey. And then I go back What's out. What's up? <clears throat> What's up, family? <laughs> Hi, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter, your seven-year-old daughter. Yeah. Hey, Nick, could you drive me to school today? Right. Uh, They're gosh. all taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> All of my children are like six three, six four. I'm just my penis is hanging out. Just that fucking giant barn owl like digging its claws into my head. There's blood pouring down. I'm like, you guys having a good time at school? They're like, it's July. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. Nice. Nice. All right, I'm gonna be out in the well, garage. See you guys at Christmas, I guess. Don't yeah, don't ever fucking don't come out there ever. <laughs> if you ever <laughs> fucking dare. Just a reminder, don't ever come out there. Do ever. not come to the fucking garage. <laughs> <laughs> Do not come in, and the house is the house is like this big, and the garage is like yeah, 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 a yeah, seven-story yeah. building. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a giant oversized with like a big door that it defies physics that it works, and the house is very tiny. A huge crank opening. You can't you can't just right. like to open the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, that would be that's the life, dude. That's the life you fucking dumb bitches could have had. Mm-hmm. But. Not now. They, Somebody else gets right. They come in there, and I've just made like a full sized X wing out of Legos, and I'm sitting in the cockpit, and I'm like, "What did I say about coming into my study?" <laughs> I'm reading. I'm pr- I'm do. Ah, uh, you fucking assholes! Oh, you fucking piece of shit! God, I hate. I'm you. trying to learn for the family. I hate my children. <laughs> I hate them so much. Your fucking wife's boyfriend just lives in the home with them. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's up? What's up, Eric? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's up? How you doing, Ricky? So Ricky anyway, no, Ricky. I told you. Listen, I told you. Any any questions about going to school or getting food? You ask Eric. You ask Ricky. You ask, or I'm sorry, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> His name's Eric. Yes, but Ricky is short for Eric, and that's a term of endearment I have with him. Yes, because he's looking out for you guys while I do the hard work. Well, mm-hmm. while I provide for this family. <laughs> Isn't that right, Ricky? You think you can just sit here at my kitchen table and drink my juice? <laughs> He's like, I brought this with me. <laughs> I do all the shopping. I, buy I, br- I brought all this with me. This okay. is, the only reason you're still here is because it's, it's technically it, your land. It literally says Jamba Juice on it. It's a cup that I clearly <laughs> came in with. There's no way it's yours. There's no, you don't have your own Jamba Juice. All right, Ricky, we'll sell this when the kids aren't watching. Well, but... yeah, we're going to handle this like men. <laughs> I'm still like completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, and then your watch beeps. is like, all right, mm-hmm. that's the time the court says I legally have to spend with you mm-hmm. per week, and I'll big, see you guys later. A big infection on my chest where I tried to give myself my own tattoo. <laughs> it says King of the Ring. <laughs> <laughs> never wrestled, never boxed. <laughs> I've never been in a ring in your life. <laughs> <laughs> you keep referring to yourself backwards. as the king of this the ring. Ba- no, I never do. Oh, it's okay. the one time idea I had. It's just bleeding and filled with pus and it's backwards. Yeah, you just did it looking down. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, do you need to go to the hospital? I'm like, do you need to go to the hospital? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up, Ricky. <laughs> I just want my ham. I think I'm going to get my own ham fridge in the garage, actually, going yeah. forward. Uh, don't you have a garage fridge? <laughs> no. I turned it on its side, and I started using it as a canoe. 
Any more fucking stupid questions? <laughs> Any more dumbass questions? <laughs> From the peanut gallery? <laughs> Anybody? Your son just has never looked up from his fucking <laughs> iPad the whole time. <laughs> just sighing yeah. and be like, oh, "What you playing on there, Mickey Mouse?" <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> what you got, uh, a Mickey Mouse on there, huh, sweetie? <laughs> okay. All right, Daddy loves you. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the garage. Don't come in. Do not come in the garage. Yeah. That's a good life, dude. Yeah. I could see that for you, man. That would rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. They just, eventually, they come out there, and I've been dead for a week and a half, and one of my legs is, like, jammed in the springs of a trampoline, <laughs> and I'm wearing, a, like, a, a unitard. <laughs> I tried to teach myself Olympic gymnastics. <laughs> just snap my neck. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. That would be beautiful. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You've left very, very clear directions. You want to be shot into space. Yeah. You don't want a few, you want a space funeral, dude. Yeah, I want my body fed to a, a family of hungry Africans. <laughs> They're like, yeah, it's like in his will it was very clear. He wants this very racist wish, <laughs> um, but t- we're not. I want to feel good about myself, <laughs> so I want I want to be eaten by Africa, starving Africans. Because I'm doing something to change the world, unlike you, Ricky. Unlike you. Unlike my dumbass kids, <laughs> so my daughter's like a neurosurgeon. <laughs> oh, brain surgery, real cool. <laughs> yeah, that's real nice of you to cut people's brains in half. That's fucked up. Some of us fill their brains with, with slurs, with knowledge, with knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my book collection. Some of us make them imagine a turtle mm-hmm. saying sl- anti-Asian slurs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what paid for your way through medical school. I got a scholarship. Yeah. Well, it would have if you yeah. if you didn't. Listen, the twenty five thousand dollars I walked into this marriage with went a long way. <laughs> <laughs> the money that didn't dry up. The went. lawsuit. Yeah, you're, it's not about. It's yeah. not from your career. It's like the lawsuit you won from yeah. the tattoo. Oh yeah, when company. you were a baby, who bought your diaper? <laughs> You know, who bought your diaper? Who got the who put the milk in the bottle at one time? <laughs> we were breastfed. Yeah, but who put the milk in there? Who squeezed your mother's tits against her who, will? Who nutted in your mom to make the hormones to make your dinner? <laughs> you think breast milk gets made without cum in a woman's pussy? You gotta keep nutting in her. <laughs> That's a, it's fucking physics. Mm-hmm. Matter can be nor created and neither fucking destroyed. Uh, yeah. You idiot. By the way, I put uh, chimes on all the doors to the place of the Sanford and Son theme song when I walk in. <laughs> I, from now on, I say, oh, I want that vibe. And you should treat me as if I'm one of the characters on the show. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Hey, Ricky. No, not him. No. Ricky does not get a hello in that manner. Yeah. Everybody, if it's anyone but me, walk, I couldn't figure out a way to make the chime person specific. So if Ricky walks his dumb ass in here and the song plays, it's earmuffs for you. You're not listening to it. And he doesn't get the... In fact, this motherfucker, Ricky, you're climbing in from the window from now on. Just to be safe. I'm not doing that. All right, suit yourself. All right. Yeah. Ch- suit yourself. Ch- ch- suit yourself. I can see you making that noise with your mouth. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I Shut have. Up. I have guns. Do you know? You know what it denotes, though. Yeah, I could get a gun right now. I could go to Cabela's and get a gun in a heartbeat. <laughs> I could have a rifle in here, pointed at your fucking face. The second I so I so esteemly wish in my gentlemanly nature to battle you with pistols. <laughs> Rifles, shotguns, <laughs> tactical, tactical gear. <laughs> I might buy some peanut brittle that they also have at Cabela's, mm-hmm. and I'll have that some of that. Yeah. Hey, have you guys seen my Ziploc bag with uh, some glue in it? <laughs> <laughs> I had, a, I had a. There was a bag out that was some super glue in it that I was using. <laughs> 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 no, I needed it for. There was that bag I had. It was a zip, It was like a gallon-sized bag filled with opened markers and super glue. 
<laughs> well, the, no, it my isn't. Arts, you put the markers down. They're in my. They're in my. There was my arts and crafts bag <laughs> that I need to make a birthday card for my friend from online. <laughs> <laughs> from my roommate. What was the guy's name that we're roommates with yeah, now? from one of our roommates. <laughs> hey, kids. Yeah. Uncle Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All your children love. We're, the garage is just that house we share with our list, our Patreon listeners. <laughs> <laughs> the four guys left. It's just the fucking landlord from the Big Lebowski. <laughs> that was a really great episode. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ricky. Yeah. Hey, hey Ricky. Stav, what's up, dude? Oh, hey, hey, Todd. <laughs> Ricky, don't talk to our fans. <laughs> oh, actually, um, Nick, we were over here to ask Ricky for money again for your rent because mm-hmm. you haven't paid for six years. Mm-hmm. Well, well, well. <laughs> I guess I'm just an asshole. Then. <laughs> I guess that's the story of the day, folks. Breaking news: Nick is an asshole. <laughs> Let's all get mad at him now. Let's all take a break from what we're doing to get mad at him. Because it's so important that we put everything aside to get mad at the one guy that's doing anything around here to make things better. (laughs) The homemade basketball hoop I put up in the living room. The fucking... You know who tried to fix the the the, the furnace? Mm-hmm. Who tried to do that? I tried for at least a half hour. I tried to figure it out, and now we have a barbecue down there. <laughs> Pretty cool. But I guess we don't like fucking ribs. I guess you guys didn't like my idea of turning the entire house into Texas. <laughs> I thought we were going to have Texas week, <laughs> and then your fat cow of a sister <laughs> was going to be. Miss Livestock. I'm just, We're going to put little blue ribbons on that yeah, fucking... Why would you say that about your daughter? Because she's not here, dumbass. <laughs> What's she going to do? Find out about it? <laughs> she's probably at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what, what were we talking about? Well, it's time to podcast. It's so time to do the podcast. I'll see you guys soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And at that point, there's like a 45-minute intro song. Yeah. It's just, just clips of yeah. things we've said in the past. From 20 years ago. You're a bug, dude. It's just, it's all the hits. Dad, can I have that roller backpack? The stop bot. Who remembers 2014? Now, that was, now a, that was a good time. That was a fucking year, dude. That was a good era, brother. Mm-hmm. Before we had this dumb Chinese president. That's so true. Which we'll have at the time. Oh, yeah. But... That's right. What? Yeah, that's a type of food, isn't it? All right, yeah, sure. <laughs> Onigiri? <laughs> yes. Adam's over there eating Japanese breakfast, Adam dude. is over there eating Japanese breakfast. Feeling pretty good about himself. Oh, yeah. You know? I could definitely see Adam becoming a guy that goes to Japan a lot. Yeah. For the for the, it's cool. The P U S S Y. We are sorry, Mr. Friedlander. We could not find a pussy small enough for you. Oh, we do not Even have here a, in a Japan. We do not have a bebere pussy. <laughs> the bebere pussy is uh, bebere pussy. sold out. Uh, uh, one of uh, Japan's oldest traditions is uh, letting a Jewish <laughs> man fuck her, uh, the tiniest baby. <laughs> And in exchange, uh, his friends get to laugh about it uh, back home. <laughs> and uh, there was one year where we didn't uh, let uh, America do this. And that year was uh, 1945. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we learned uh, the lesson there. <laughs> Ever since that time. Ever since then, every year, we let a Jewish man uh, come because he has to be Jewish because it balances out uh, the Holocaust. The Holocaust. The Holocaust. And that was the secret broker deal at the end of World War Two. To bring a peace to the America world. America agrees to take all of Germany's Jews and put them in New York. Uh, so now they, it's their problem. But. Uh, in exchange, once a year, once a year, one of the Jews comes uh, to rape a Japanese baby, <laughs> and Ger- the D- Germany is 
<laughs> the women become fat. I guess that, <laughs> <laughs> that's the punishment. For them. They have fat uh, the titties. Uh, Maybe very big, but they're <laughs> also very fat. Very fat and they woman have, uh, weird moles on their big fat titties. <laughs> and that is very trade off in, in Germany. And Italians all uh, turned out to be gay and they want to fuck the mother. And the Italians are gay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Emperor Hirohito, why are you telling us all this? Why are you just spilling the beans? <laughs> Adam talking to a Japanese baby like, wow, this is pretty cool. What yeah. are you, good, cool fit. Oh, uh, you're from Kyoto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. You should be an actress. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it. I, I seriously think you could do it. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not fucking with you. I really think. <laughs> you have a beautiful singing voice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I think I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll be out in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. See ya. All right, see ya, family. What was that? A little attitude from you, Ricky? <laughs> you putting a little stink on it? God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! When can you go? Has anyone seen my peanut butter puffins? <laughs> I'm trying to have a man's breakfast. <laughs> Has anyone seen my peanut butter muffins and my yuhus? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to pour Yoo-Hoo's, individual Yoo-Hoo's into yeah. a bowl and eat cereal with them. I need problems? My, I need my salad mixing bowl, two gallons of milk, and then uh, some, uh, some... Some brownie mix. Some brownie mix. <laughs> I'm making a new... T I'm coming up with the cereal out there. <laughs> don't tell anyone about it. I don't want people to know. I don't want people stealing my idea to come up with a new cereal. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm going to need $12,000. <laughs> Yeah, my plan is... It's a good idea. It's a good idea. I've made a better version of, of Captain Crunch. That's just Cocoa Krispies. <laughs> but it's Captain Crunch. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring it to them, and they're going to... They'll buy it. They'll, they'll buy it. be forced to. Yeah, they'll be forced to, because I spent three years working on this. <laughs> and in my mind... That's, that's the how the world works. That's there's just, the there's work. basic justice. That's how things work, is that if you put the effort forward, you're bound to be rewarded for it. And uh, and you're definitely you shouldn't just be spending what little money you have on therapy <laughs> <laughs> instead of ingredients. <laughs> ingredients for your new cereal. For your new cereal. Like we well, get this is Captain Crunch, but it, the, it's sweeter. It's sweeter. <laughs> it's because, be, yeah, right now yeah. the prototype is I add the, a couple of tablespoons with, of sugar. The to problem Captain with Captain Crunch. Crunch is that oh no, I haven't even looked to see if it's profitable. Uh, the problem with Captain <laughs> Crunch is it stands. Is that the uniform that Captain Crunch is wearing isn't accurate? <laughs> it's not what an actual captain would wear. So I've I've hired actually an artist, and I'm I'm it's, it's, they're on retainer ten thousand dollars a week. Yeah, but they're <laughs> they are finding an actual mm -hmm. um, naval. Yeah, what it is is I've I've now the box of cereal comes with an actual naval uniform. It's a car cut out character on the front of the box. It's an actual naval uniform that you can touch, and it's made out of dangerous chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of uh, chemicals you can only buy in Sweden. For you can some only reason. buy them in Sweden. And if you're here, you need a large warning that says that they cause carcinogens <laughs> on the outside of the box. But the, the the good news is, in the Bolivian market, yeah, you're totally fine to do yeah. that. And it tastes just like real cereal. <laughs> <laughs> but it's three times more expensive. But to it's produce. three times more. But expensive it's sweeter, to and there it does have an, a nice uniform. And I need twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> Okay, another check for another twelve thousand, <laughs> Nick. If you'll go away, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Ricky. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and I'll be out of your hair. And I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> your wife's boyfriend, Ricky, <laughs> who bankrolls your life for some reason. <laughs> Damn, we should all be so lucky, man. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna think we should put a bow on it there. Another bit I'm working on about how. Uh, you can get high off saying the N-word. <laughs> that for white people, we get high. A lot of people know that. They don't know the that, reason we love true. saying it so much is we get a little buzz. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's why we say it so much at home. Mm -hmm. And we, they uh, all of us. And they took away the N-word from us. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. What's left? That's right, fentanyl. Yeah, opiates. And man. that's what created the and opiate that's the crisis. crisis. Them and that's why and Donald <laughs> Trump became president. That's right. So if, if you, you don't want Trump as president, you don't want a bunch of doped up <laughs> white people voting for Donald Trump. Let us blast ends in public. <laughs> I'm talking <laughs> Boston Market. Just blast. Them. Just fucking Boston blast. Boston Market, huh? Yeah. You, get, you waiting for that fucking little rotisserie Dog, chicken? It is on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the ordering process. That's how you the N word. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me get the uh, chicken pot pie. Um, <laughs> the Cambridge French fries. <laughs> oh, and the boo. <laughs> what is it? You just say it. Oh, and I don't have to pay. I can just say it for free. So I can just keep saying it. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm going to go vote for a progressive candidate now. Mm-hmm. Now that I got that out of my system. That's my free love movement. It's free the free N. Free the N. The free N movement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. That I'm telling you, man. Fun. You let us blast ends at KB Toys. Yep. Just going in there. Not no, no child. I don't even have a child. Absolutely. Just not. go in there blasting ends. It's out of business. Guess who I'm voting for? That's right, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Webb. I'll give you Jim Webb. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'll, vote, I'll vote for for Kasich. John Kasich. Kasich. Kasich goes in. I dude. blast two ends a day. John Kasich. Four ends a day. Jim Webb. Okay. Unlimited ends a day. Hillary Clinton. Whoa. Wow. Maxine Waters. I'm writing in Maxine Waters. <laughs> <laughs> if every single word I say is full board blasted in. <laughs> like I'm you, trying like I got a mining company and we're going through the mountains <laughs> using the N word. <laughs> <laughs> Blasting the rocks with the N word. <laughs> until we get to that sweet natural gas. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Then you just huff that. Yeah. Uh, scientists say it's better for the environment than fracking, but is the new end blasting method of finding <laughs> natural gas bad for society? <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of. I mean, I'm just, I don't understand how it works, to be honest with you. I just know it's wrong. <laughs> Look, I can't tell you, and I know that seems like liberal bullshit. I, I know I'm right? a that I shouldn't just be opposed to a type of drilling, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure screaming the N word at rocks. <laughs> They're, that can't be good. It's not good for the communities. It's not good for the people that live in those towns. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was out of work for years, and uh, when this happened, I just knew my calling was about to, I've been calling my nephew that for free, mm-hmm. and so I figured I'd do it now, and i get a health insurance yeah. plan out of it. But the results are catastrophic. <laughs> Take a look at Centralia, Pennsylvania, a town overcome by over n word <laughs> It's unlivable now, even by white people, because it's too racist. They live 1,000 feet below sea level now. Every They're time somebody up. put up a building, I just yell the N-word. Yeah, it's yeah. fun watching it go down. Yeah. <laughs> Bless them. They're calling it N-11. <laughs> and it's the greatest tragedy since the real 9-11. Damn, dude. Yeah, we should harvest N-word technology, clean N-word technology. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's... <clears throat> That's like... Would there be dirty and clean? Right. E-R and A? That's like a deleted scene from Independence Day. Like the (laughs) aliens come, and then Bill Pullman's like, I know how to handle this. (laughs) (laughs) On three. The whole world. The whole world. The whole world. (laughs) They're like... (laughs) There's the the general that's like, let's call him the (laughs) N-word. Let's call him the N-word right now. (laughs) Sir, I've been in this army for 52 years, and I'll tell you the answer is calling those aliens the (laughs) N-word. Let's use the N word on them. Why do you think we lost Nam? Yeah, they wouldn't yeah. let me scream. Just the N-word. let us do our damn job, sir. <laughs> let us do our job. <laughs> they use the N word at the aliens. They're like, it has no effect. <laughs> at twelve o'clock tonight, the combined military forces of the world will point megaphones at the mothership <laughs> and unleash our most powerful weapon against the aliens. For today is our Independence Day. <laughs> there you go. Our dependence on the N word. <laughs> Damn. Very nice. We should end the episode there, man. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah, I'll end, tell you, dog. Independence Day, brother. That's what the red We're going to do 4 for. o'clock. I said, let's do noon. I'm fired up. Noon. Imagine how much better this would be if you got me that fucking cough. Do you want to have sex? Do you want to show me your pussy? Do you want to have sex in my Toyota to sell? <laughs> <laughs> Beep, beep. I'm outside. Mm. It's your birthday, and I'm horny. This is the War of the Hoses, and it's Michael Douglas and Martin Sheen, and they get married, and then their marriage falls apart, and they have to get gay divorced. Mm. Mm. 
That's awesome. We should have like a, a decade of gay divorce movies. I agree. They're coming. Yeah, like uh, Gamer versus Gamer. Yeah, gay guy versus even Cream, gayer guy. Creamer versus Creamer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> creamer versus Creamer. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I like that a lot. <laughs> I was I was very specific. I wanted the dildos in right. the divorce. Mrs. Doubtfire, but this time Mrs. Doubtfire is a uh, keeps the children. <laughs> and Sally Fields, her like cis woman hu- wife is the one that loses her kids to her trans husband. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Because the court's you, too you afraid. You have to be trans right. in the, the, court's in the too, law. Yeah, the court's too afraid. <laughs> I to was not born give, like this. The court's too afraid to not give custody to Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm, they don't want to Go be, ahead, uh, I dare you. You'll have a PR nightmare. And they're like, yeah, after the Brock Turner judge lost their job, I can't risk it. It's I'll definitely the, the same kid, thing. Give the kids. <laughs> yeah, pretty much I don't want to piss off that. social media. <laughs> is that letting a rapist off. <laughs> the guy who raped that pass out girl. I'm, I'm not trying to end up I'm like that. I'm not trying to end up like that That good judge. <laughs> the, the judge who just did his damn job. Yeah. It'd be funny to be the Brock Turner judge. Like, we also find out that they were dressed like Judge Dredd when making mm, that decision. That's cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. Okay, if you're about yeah. to do some wild shit as a judge, you should do the. You should get the you helmet. Dress up yeah. as dress. You should get that cool helmet. I am alone. The glass of eyes. I am alone. I don't think it was that bad that he raped yeah. someone. You get four months or whatever. Nice pussy, rookie. <laughs> rookie. Rookie, show me your pussy. Rookie, Shoot. call it. Rape in the first degree. Sentence, zero years. Punishment, nothing. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good call, rookie. Good call, rookie. Good call, rookie. Wow, I can't believe Sandra Bullock would let him it's off. Not like Sandra Bullock. It's not it's Sandra Bullock. One. It's the second one. The oh, better wow. one. Come on, dude. I really That's like, a much better one. I really like that movie. It's I, so good. I recommended it to my dad. My dad's like, I hated it. What? <laughs> you got to like, kill your father. I'm like, I don't understand anything. I don't get you. It's over for him, This dude. seems like it would be right up your alley. We got to take him out back and shoot him in the The amount of times of I had to listen to his, like, oh, I was watching the special features on the Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> DVD. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to pretend like you're too smart for dread. He was like, there was, I mean, like, really nothing like there's no intellectual value to it it's like of course there isn't yeah it's, it's just rocks cock it's the just, second from the second you press play till the end it rules yes that's that's, that's all the it's value a, yeah. that's all it's supposed to be the drug that slows people are getting down, fucked really up in slow mo yeah he's like it's just people getting shot in the face in slow motion it's like yeah it's a b action yeah, it the rules fuck you want? fucking loser the, and the action is really good yeah. And there's a little pinch of titties, if I'm not mistaken. A pinch of tit. Just a little sprinkling. Not yeah. as much as I would have liked. I love when he just throws that bitch off the roof at the end. It's so cool. And then she dies in slow motion, and he's just looking down. And the, his final line in the movie, when, at least in terms of all the conflict, is he goes, Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's a good Such ass. a cool movie. Yeah. Shuts out Car- Carl Urban. Call it rookie. Isn't that his name? Penis. Six and a half inches. <laughs> not that bad looking, but no, probably not, not, not having that trouble staying hard. Trouble staying hard. Not co- particularly pleasurable. <laughs> uh, c- call it again. Yeah, read you he must, have read, it j- j- must be jammed. Oh, it sounds like you're getting a wrong read on that one. Right, you're, I am the law. <laughs> so maybe uh, put, turn your helmet and uh, stop looking. Suck it for a second and then do it. read it's, it again. It's I'm going to be a bitch about it. It gets much bigger. <laughs> <laughs> give it, give it a suck, a couple up and downs, and then give me another reading. Uh, maybe you need to lick my ass, <laughs> suck on my titties, and jack me off, and then read it again. <laughs> Put your gun in my ass, rookie. <laughs> Put your gun in my ass and use the incendiary round. <laughs> Lift uh, my bicycle up and put the <laughs> tire on my asshole and then rev the engine. <laughs> Do a wheelie into my ass. Do a wheelie into my ass, okay. Don Jr. tweet where he was talking about, he was like, Michael Jackson, one year since his passing, so crazy. It seems like yesterday I was playing TMT, you know, like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but he abbreviates it but spells turtles with Michael Jackson in my bedroom when I was a kid. <laughs> Wow, that's Don't. so cool. <laughs> that rocks. He got I mean, molested. He got molested. <laughs> no, Michael that's so didn't funny. molest anyone. Donald, Donald Trump Jr. had sex. He didn't. Michael didn't molest anyone. Yeah, he did, bro. No, Chill. he didn't. Shut up. 
It doesn't matter if your color is black or white. If you're a but child, you I'll better suck your not. Dick. You better not be fucking Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> black and white are cool. Wait, Adam, you're you're a Michael Jackson truther. Yeah. He is big time. Okay, yeah, explain. I don't know. <laughs> that Cat <laughs> Williams get... bit is probably the best. The best. After that bit, it's over. Yeah. Put him in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After that bit, show that in court and put him in jail. I like bitches. So in my house, I have shit that bitches like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, now, what? Michael got Ferris wheels. Yeah. <laughs> got a funny. video game. A lollipop dispenser. It's <laughs> funny, but that's not sufficient evidence <laughs> to convict anyone in court. Cat Williams should be on Mount Rushmore. He is, he is dude. America's finest comedian. He's so fucking goddamn He's funny. He's so funny. Yeah. That uh, that whole special is the Iraq war. Yeah, it's, it's on the same the, special. It's probably the best joke or like best yeah. political comedy. It really about is. The Iraq war ever. Yeah. It's really good. No, that special is him. It's short. It's only like 45 minutes or 40 minutes, but it's like he comes out and he's crushing. He's just throwing haymakers the whole fucking time. Yeah. There is not a there's second no filler. There's no all killer, no filler yeah. for sure. But What's it is that Pimp Chronicles. I don't remember. He's wearing the green suit. Yeah, yeah the green I, suit. I think it is the. At what point Chronicles. though did he thought? Did he think it was a good idea to make Suge Knight his manager? Yeah, I know. I mean, he's insane. <laughs> he made a couple yeah. of bad business yeah. decisions. He didn't make a couple of bad movies. <laughs> and he made Too a bad cop. decision to fight that <laughs> child. <laughs> yeah, he could beat him up. Yeah, yeah, he got slapped by he that kid. Have been at, at Target those, at those apartments. No, yeah, no, no, no. Like, I forgot. Target is a. Di- he slapped a different guy. Oh, yeah. he has a yeah, long rap sheet. The video of him fighting the kid is so funny because the setting. Is like at an they're elementary at apart- school. No, they're at apartments. No, he's in like a playground behind like a school. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> Nick serious in Chinese. Serious, my, the is Japanese? On my, in my watch is on Chinese. Yeah. And on the phone, it said back to English, but the watch is still stuck in Chinese. Nice. I don't know how to fix you got to go to the Apple store. I do. I have to make two because now my phone's doing that fucking thing again where it says downloading messages from iCloud mm. and it doesn't turn off. Maybe it's because I sent you one picture of my dick and it, it's taking no, too it's, long to the download. Picture, it's, it's, too too it's too big. It's too big. Too small. It's not too small. <laughs> that's the that's the best kind of rapist is one that's it's not for moral reasons that they don't want to do it. It's because they're a coward. Yeah, I'd say that's probably like ninety nine twenty percent of men. <laughs> you well, think yeah, so? yeah, probably ninety nine percent of <clears throat> pedophiles are like that because they know. What a That's pedophile true. is in society. I guess yeah. in a pedophile, it's more... They're not brave for fucking it kids. More, yeah. it, as, they're, as a pedophile, more it's more um, weirdly, like, honorable <laughs> than they are. You know what I mean? Because it's like they have the disease. Yeah, they know they got the... They got the hunger, you know? Mm-hmm. They got the... <laughs> yeah, they got the they taste. They got the taste. Yeah. Other than, you know, Michael Jackson, who just was like... yeah. Fuck it! I'm just gonna I'm have some. I'm fuck just gonna f- fuck children. I'm gonna even I'm gonna the ones turn that my house into an amusement park. <laughs> <and> fuck! <laughs> At first, I'm gonna find hot yeah. ones that like all the stuff I like. But and then, then, and then when people accuse me of doing it, when it's obvious that I'm doing it, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I can't believe this. How dare you? How dare they you? Pulled <laughs> the Simpsons this pulled is it. racist, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys. Michael was there at the wrong place at the wrong, wrong place at the time. wrong time. Mm. His own child, his sex, own house, <laughs> his old child sex stadium that he built yeah. was the place. What's that cat? That Cat Williams bit about? Yeah, yeah. 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 It was like it was like. Yeah, like, I like bitches. He was like, listen. So in my house, I got shit that bitches like. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did Michael have in his house? <laughs> <laughs> that is the best take. I mean, that's it. That's all you have to fucking say. Yeah. Salute to a true fucking the man who's got the. the I mean, he wrote a take. song called "Smooth Criminal." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have little sex with little boys, yeah. and I fuck their asses. Yeah. And he's only five, but he's got an <laughs> asshole like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fuck your asshole. Mm. You're not so. Let me fuck your asshole. The funniest part about that documentary is he's making those kids do goatsy. Oh, yeah, really? yeah. The I didn't see it. Yeah. Ass mm-hmm. Now, how many parts? Is it? People said it was like multi part. Is it like a series? Yeah. It's two parts. Oh, just two parts. It's like a four hour documentary. Damn. Because they had to get on all the <coughs> salacious details. I turned uh, off like after like. 40 I, yeah, minutes. I watched forty minutes and that was. I it hear in me. the second part they like he like dumps them for like new cuter boys. Damn, yeah. Yeah. that's tough. And then they they're like, but he, he didn't want to be my friend anymore. Yeah, that. I mean, that's got to be rough. He doesn't even want to be friends with them. <clears throat> you got to let him down easy, man. Yeah, and here's the thing. What's funny is because, like, 
so my girlfriend was like, you know, like she brought up that Corey, what's his name? Yes, yes. Um, uh, the one that's alive. Feldman. Feldman. Corey Feldman yeah. said he was innocent. She was like, well, why would he, he say just, he was innocent? He just retra- re- re- uh, well, and I was like, because it. Corey Feldman's the same kind of pedophile right. Michael Jackson is. They he's were 100% like, percent abused as kids. kids. We're yeah. abused as kids, so he's like, now nah, I'm going to protect these kids and then maybe take a peek. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm yeah, yeah. Them. It's like the way you eat, it's like the way you eat a chocolate bar that's not yours. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, take yeah. a little corner of it. Right. I'm just gonna <laughs> open the foil a bit. Yeah, yeah, and smell it, <laughs> and then lick. Just take a taste, <laughs> and then close it, and then protect this kid, <laughs> and pr- keep them safe from those monsters. He said that uh, in '93, he was on the Today Show, like when Me Too first popped off. And he said in '93 he went to the Santa Barbara. Yeah, Sheriff's I heard that Department. story. And the sheriff's department like was like we're they not were like this. he gave them a list of every single Hollywood pedophile, and they were like we're only interested in Michael Jackson. Damn. And they were like, well, did Michael Jackson rape you? And he was like, no, Michael Jackson didn't rape me. But then he just came out this week and said that he can't silence those guys who went through that, just like he was silenced by the other guys who raped him. By the. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you think yeah. it was maybe a thing where it's like. You know how you won't, you don't want to fuck your friends' girlfriends. Maybe it's like Michael. Maybe he was friends with Corey Feldman because Michael, like pedophiles, have boyfriends, and it well, would have been rude to his and, pedophile look, friends you have to, go to back fuck to the, the sources. Corey, of all of this. do you know what I'm saying? And it's uh, 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 Martin Sheen, mm-hmm. George Lucas, Steven Spielberg. George, oh, oh, George Lucas, Steven Spielberg are fucking. They're all, no, these are all pedophiles. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. Uh, George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, uh, Martin Geffen. Sheen, Geffen. Martin Sheen? Martin Sheen, for sure. Dude. That's Martin, why Emilio... Martin Sheen's the, the guy in the, at the center <coughs> of the whole thing. Damn. Yeah. He is not David Geffen? No, it's Martin Sheen is the guy that's the... the he brought it over from the Catholic Church. <laughs> oh. That's he's true. patient zero? No, basically. He's, he's the monkey that, the, that had AIDS that some guy fucked? No, I mean, it. yeah. He was sharing his kids with... Uh, who is those brothers that murdered their parents? The Menendez, Menendez brothers? What? The Menendez brothers. They being, fucked kids, too? They were all they trade. The Emilio Menendez Estevez? kids got passed around as boys to Hollywood elites. That's why they oh, fucked that's they why killed they killed their parents. Their parents. Oh, yeah. shit. Did they say that on trial? Uh, they said that no. they were abused. No, these are things I've thought about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they said that their parents. These are things I just I close them. my eyes and I get real. I just really <laughs> solve problems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting to a real crime, <laughs> crime solving See, state. See, Martin Sheen to me feels like the kind of guy that like is a pedophile in that he fucked like fourteen year old girls, mm-hmm. like the like a seventies <laughs> classic. Style it's just pedophile. me going into a deprivation tank and then being carried out by assistants and then just like <laughs> writing down a list of every Hollywood and then celebrity, passing out. just yeah, and then just yeah. collapsing like yeah. Minority Report. <laughs> <laughs> we have the names. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see that shit? The fucking uh, Ian, uh, what's his name? Gandalf. The dance? No, Ian Gandalf. What? Ian Gandalf, the wizard. Yeah, what's his the character, the actor's name? Ian McKellen. Oh, oh Ian yeah, McKellen. Yeah. Ian McKellen was like, maybe if Brian Singer and uh, fucking what the other guy were allowed to commit their crimes in public. They wouldn't have been forced to abuse people. What? Yeah, he was like saying if they couldn't be open about being pedophile, if they were allowed to be open about being pedophiles, what? they wouldn't have had to abuse people. Yeah. What the fuck? Because he's also. <clears throat> yeah. Damn. Dude, they all are. The whole fucking industry. Well, what Milo got in trouble for was saying that like it's normal for gay people to like for an adult to fuck a fourteen, a 14 year, old, year old boy. Yeah, a boy. horny little slut. Yeah. Uh, uh, basically a call me by your name situation. Like a, well, he was nineteen, I guess, in that movie. But, but yeah, that's, that's the it. template. That's the template. And and Ian McKellen, of course, is like is an old gay guy. Yeah, classically gay. Yeah. Uh huh. One of the gayest traditionally gay men alive. Yeah, I would say. No, I pay attention to television, considering I. Work in this industry. I yeah. don't have a future. Yeah, I'm an it. artist, dude. I'm a fucking. Yeah. I go right to the crowd, man. You yeah. and your corporate fucking entities, not me. Nah, man. Anybody I know that like has a TV writing job, they watch every show. Yeah, they yeah. like still like you know when people are like, uh, "Do you watch SNL?" I'm like, "No, why would I watch SNL?" Right? What is it 1999? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> if the Spartans ain't on there, yeah. if Sherry O'Terry ain't doing <laughs> something <laughs> weird with her eye, yeah, yeah. If she's not making her left eye twitch. I'm not interested. Yeah. Bitch. When people are like, "Oh man, last night's monologue, not the best," and it's like. <laughs> 
are you still watching that show? <laughs> yeah, someone sent us uh, or sent me a DMs like, can't wait to get a, the Come Boys take on Aziz Ansari's monologue. Didn't and I was like, it. I'm pretty sure none yeah, of no, us. I'm watched not watching. It. Yeah, I'm not. I yeah. have zero interest in watching. And it. also, fuck SNL for the fucking. I mean, this the of suspending that writer for the Baron Trump tweet. That shit's fucking crazy. You don't even know her name, dude. I don't need to know her name. Yeah, you do. What's her name? Uh, Robert Paulson. <laughs> her name is Robert Paulson. <laughs> <laughs> is it Kate something? Yeah, Katie Rich. Yeah. Shouts out Katie Rich. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, it's an official stance of our podcast. We stand that with we Katie. We stand with Katie. Yeah. yeah. I don't know who she is, and I'm but sure still. she'll have no problem. I looked at her background. She's like a, a UCB? improv person. So. Well, I take that back. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> any other circumstance, I wouldn't give a shit about this person whatsoever. But she, I just love that fucking that fucking retard Cameron Esposito. She tweeted. Uh, <laughs> she goes. Uh, she goes. Mm, this is going to sound extremely accurate, but uh, a lot of uh, male writers say a bunch of bonkers shit, and they don't get fired. And it's like, yeah, that's the takeaway from this that we're not firing enough comedy writers. <laughs> yeah. Katie, no, don't get me wrong. Katie Rich should be fired for what she for right, writing right, right. political satire, Damn, that's a which is her take. job. But the problem is that we need to fire more men. Yeah. Wow. Oh, thank you, Cameron, for such a genius fucking take. Right, the problem isn't that we have just started going after people for the words they say, yeah. and now that the tables have turned, we're also fucked. Well, we're yeah, getting, yeah. We're That's going, not the Oh, issue. yeah. The, the, amount amount of comics, the amount of comics I saw on Twitter pretending like this is a fucking precedent being set, and not a direction that we were headed in for two years, when anybody who was reasonable... Who More said, than two years. Well, no, mostly the last two years. 2014 is when this shit started yeah, to go you're real right. crazy. Yeah. And when I... Wait, you know, anybody that fucking said, like, hey, you know, one day it's not going to be a bunch of fucking fat liberal women <laughs> right. controlling the dialogue right. on this issue, and it's going to be conservatives that are going to come back into power, and they're going to use... All this bullshit about how yeah. well if your language offends somebody, you know, it shouldn't. We should question whether or not free speech have is good. Consequences. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to be on the right side of history. Well, here you are. You set this up. You wanted this to happen. You made your bed. Now I you know. have to fucking lie in it. But also, fuck every Republican who's like, who was like, no, for... good on them for learning from these people. No, dude, come on. No, they 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 said they looked at what people were doing. With uh, Daniel Tosh, it wasn't the Republicans fucking, though. It was it was, it was fucking Lauren Michaels. It was it, it was no, the, no, no, Lauren was Michaels they wasn't offended. And retweeted all dude, this it was shit. yeah, it was people. It was fucking like oh, it was, like it was bikers for Trump. <laughs> bikers for Trump that were that were scared because they got glitter blown on them. <laughs> Did you see that shit? There were nine hundred thousand <laughs> bikers for Trump <laughs> at the women's rally. <laughs> yeah. Man, doing wheelies. Yeah, we're fucked. That no, shit sucks. It's, you know, it's it's a t totally. This is the fucking I told you so moment for everyone that would said, you know, well, if rape jokes are off limits, where do you draw the line? Right. And then these people are like, just you draw the line directly in front of the things that I like. <laughs> that you <laughs> conveniently <laughs> gerrymander uh, all the things that bother me. This is a hundred. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, and then we make those things off limits, and that'll never backfire ever. Right. Whenever there's never going to be any consequences. The next thing that's going to happen is always believe rhetoric is going to be used to throw LGBT people in jail. What is, what is that jail. always believe? Obama? Always be oh, no. I'll, I always believe is part of like campus sex assault activists. But I mean, I'm sure... It, oh, you always believe in Always accusation. believe women. Always believe rape accusations. Yeah, yeah. Always. Because in some cases, it's, you know, it, it, the rare instance that it is false. But then they're, they're going to fucking appropriate that somehow. How? And what's that? Like, believe who? Believe uh, probably children. There'll be some new, like, you know child uh oh children are being exploited by trans people mm -hmm. and then you know why would a child lie about that and that's where you go from there but it's gonna happen that happened in the 90s though it's right, like certain ideas yeah it did it happened in the yeah. late 80s and it was christians that did it but yeah it, it, it's like you know uh i don't understand why like this didn't no this didn't occur to anybody right that this kind of shit would start happening that we have, like, an understanding of certain things that are, you know, codified in the law and should be, you know, uh, uh, expressed throughout our culture. That mm -hmm. you have freedom of speech, you have freedom of expression, yeah. you don't try to get people fired for saying something you don't like. The jokes are jokes, it's fucking art. And that, no, we need to rethink these things. Yeah, well, this is, we already did. Right. We thought about all these things. Right, right, right. For hundreds <clears throat> of years. And we got it to just, this point. It's also fucking disappointing that it's like, 
come SNL as an institution is just like throwing a writer under the bus completely. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, now it's like, what happened? First of all, you put Trump on TV, so suck my dick, number mm-hmm. one. And now when someone's doing their job, good joke. It was a solid joke, you know? Yeah. It wasn't yeah, it was even that fucking joke. offensive. It wasn't about him. They weren't make, She wasn't making fun of him for being fucking, you know. But developmentally disabled. Well, here's here's what you do: is you do a joke where you call Baron Trump trans, and then no one knows who to be upset at. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know who to get mad at them. <laughs> because it, to be trans is to be perfect, I guess. And if you ever insult, if you ever insult, you deserve to be fired for writing a joke that punches, you know, down like that. Whereas you should be punching up towards a mentally disabled boy <laughs> who is in no way at fault for anything Donald Trump says or does. Yeah, but, you know, I, whatever. It wasn't a fucking... You shouldn't be suspended for You jokes. shouldn't be suspended, but, I mean, there is really no defense of the joke and say... There's no punching up there. This isn't sure. an incident where, you know, she. there's any way... By, by their there metrics... There isn't really a defense of Daniel Tosh, what he said. I know, but the defense... But, here is what, here's what the defense is, that he's a fucking comedian and he's allowed exactly. to tell jokes. But you already and you're threw that one out the window. And you're allowed to tell bad jokes, too. You're, you're, you're already to threw that up. one out the window, so there really is no defense. This is yeah. what you fucking wanted. Yeah. If you think this is, again, if you think this is a precedent being set, uh, examine your own fucking, you know, actions and opinions over examine the last two Examine that. Examine that. Check your privilege. Yeah. I'm going to make a podcast. For these fellas. Oh, is nice. the episode over? It is. <laughs> I'm going to miss this. Why? We're going to keep doing this, but without I'm having to do the episode. I'm We're about to go get higher. I'm making a joke. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Fuck you. Goodbye, everybody. If you enjoy the show, you should actually you should subscribe at to the Patreon. Yeah, Patreon slash Comptown. <clears throat> Double the episodes, five bucks a month, four fucking extra I, ones a month. I would say two hundred episodes. The last premium episode we did, maybe one of my favorites. So good. I agree. Uh, certainly of the year. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and it's been it's uh, honestly for such a shit year. This last quarter has really invigorate reinvigorated. My passion for broadcasting. Yes, sir. And I'd say now that the the uh, the autumn years of my life have begun. I'm dying, by the way. I don't yes. Know if I oh yeah, Nick. Are you ready to? Yeah. We <laughs> let them know. <laughs> How funny it would be if I was dying and I was like, "Well, we better record several hundred episodes." <laughs> <laughs> it's my goodbye. You, yeah, yeah, it's, it's something you're funny. leaving something to Adam, so everyone knows. <laughs> yeah. So Adam can live off the show for the rest of his life. <laughs> and I will join Vincent in the grave of gay beyond. <laughs> I will become a gay icon in death in a way I could never attain in life. Imagine doing this show if you were dying. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> no. Dude, that would be so sad. I know. Yeah. I fucking know. Just like, <clears throat> how about, um, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm sorry, the pain is just. <laughs> Michael Clark Duncan Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and, beep, and beep, beep, beep. Boss, bo- they're making me cut all the munchkins with my ass. <laughs> <laughs> beep. And then the dream was they over. They really should just bring The Apprentice back tomorrow. Absolutely. Oh, God. While he's in office. Can you yeah. imagine shoot the it in the Oval Office? He, get, he, should, he should make, and he will, obviously, because he was president he should be enriched to a just disgusting degree he should become he's an gonna, overnight he's gonna cake he's gonna make so much like money make 50 billion dollars <laughs> will dude and then buy like just buy the state of wisconsin entirely he's he maybe and then turn it into like a like just velvet yeah <laughs> just velvet everywhere well i feel like we should all just agree as americans just to lie to him mm-hmm. like knock it like chloroform trump right what he should do is get out Immediately, just walk around grabbing women by the pussy, <laughs> and then Joe Biden pardons him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To then, show to show that it's about the being respect a f- for the audience. You, you, you gotta have you gotta have uh, you you know you know uh, to be the same with each other. <laughs> you gotta uh, you know. I mean, today he's going and, and he'll, he'll, he'll grab grab somebody on the you know, but it's, it doesn't matter if it's Tom, Dick, or Harry. You gotta have, 
when we have, we have thank you for voting for me <laughs> <laughs> and i that is my promise yeah and and to the to the america to I, the to the end they they they're get they're getting mad at him for grabbing grab they say he grabbed somebody but if you if you if you're going around grabbing people there's going to be a, a record of it and they're going to have these records. It skips. It and scratches. With the record. and that's what hip hop sounds like. In my <laughs> in my recollection. We all we all remember back in the hip hop days. A lot of crime. And was that the best answer? My bill. There's a lot of bills. Does they all? Does they all? Did they have mistakes? You can't. It's on Tuesday. You can't even. What's come back Friday? You guys come back Friday <laughs> down at down at Ruby Tuesday. <laughs> you come in and you say I'll call you a faggot, and if you have a good comeback, then you eat pussy for free all night. <laughs> Pick any waitress, she's yours. We'll fucking lather her up with honey barbecue sauce all over her pussy, and you can be like a pig in a slop. That's what they used to say when I first came to 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 Dover. When I ran for biggest dick in Dover, they didn't even they didn't they didn't they didn't even they didn't even have uh, Buffalo Wild Wings back then. You had to go around in your car and find a waitress, and you hold you hold her down, and you call your friend on a party line. Back then, you had to crank the telephone, and you'd say, "Bring over the honey barbecue sauce. I'm trying to eat pussy." <laughs> And Biden delivering his victory speech tonight. <laughs> a return, a return a, to normalcy. A return. <laughs> Democracy has been restored. <laughs> Fascism has Fascism been defeated. Fascism is defeated, and America is safe for at least another four years. <laughs> and we now go back to the president, who's now demonstrating how he would eat the pussy in his hand. <laughs> You gotta be. Uh, they say, oh, stay away from the sides because the sides is like a crust on a peanut butter jelly sandwich. We all remember that. <laughs> You'd be a kid and tell your mom, say, hey, mama, cut off the crust here. But what happens to the crust? It go. You feed it to the retarded brother you have in the attic, <laughs> locked up there. And it was his genes that probably caused the hunter situation. I love him to death, but <laughs> it, I, I look at him and I say, Hunter, you've got. Uh, you've got Scooter's violence in him. <laughs> Uncle Scooter. You've got Uncle Scooter's violence in him. <laughs> we, I used to, we, we, used to, we used to blow uh, cigar smoke up through the, the floorboard cracks and drive him nuts. You could hear him up there bashing his head against the joist. <laughs> <laughs> and Biden continuing his victory speech <laughs> here tonight. The the funny the best part the funniest part is how mad Hillary Clinton probably is mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. even fucking Dude, here's Joe the thing. Biden 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 pro we probably safely say that he won at yeah. this point yeah. but I mean who knows and and uh. It wasn't a blowout mm -mm. at all. No, he squeaked by. And the reason it wasn't, the reason the Democratic Party is in such a bad spot now, and if he had lost, it would have 100% been Hillary Clinton's fault 100%. for running in 2016. Mm -hmm. the, the mess of the Democratic Party was created by Hillary Clinton's insistence on running in 2016. Despite every, half of everybody hating her. Yeah. And even the people that like her not being, like, thrilled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But she's a girl boss. No, mm. And, you know, she deserved it. Mm. She was owed it. It was her time. No, I was saying... Which also you can say now is that Donald Trump got more votes than Hillary Clinton. Yeah, he that beat Hillary. He, yeah. he, beat he won her. the electoral Fair college, and, square. and he also got more votes. <laughs> yeah. If you add up both elections, it's almost double. It's more than double what That's she got. That's true. That's going to be his speech. Yeah. yeah. I beat her again. And if folks. you think about mm -hmm. both, if you have two elections, I did two of them. People <laughs> voted for me twice as much as Joe Biden did. If you add them up. So all the popular vote, people voted for me twice. Joe, I, pe the only people voting for Joe twice are the ones that forgot they already voted. That's why they like him. Sleepy Joe. He's got a retarded brother, you know. <laughs> Scooter. He kept you guys it. Heard this, of is Scooter. this is true. This is true. He had him in an attic. <laughs> they beat him to death with bricks. <laughs> they wanted to get rid of him. I, I don't know. I wouldn't do that with my family. <laughs> if I had a retarded brother, 
We'd put them. We'd put them in the yard. We'd put them in the yard. Get them a nice costume to wear. Brought to you by Cushy Dreams. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Go to K U S H Y Dreams dot com. Cushy Dreams and tell them Come Town sent you. And put in promo code Come or Come Town or Come Town twenty or something. And <clears throat> if you do that, you'll get 20% or 15% off there your first order. There I am, order. smoking in my office. Mm-hmm. And she walks in like a tall glass of, you know, they used to call it hoo-ha milk. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? I do. That's where the ma- uh, the mailman would come by and bring all the milk to everybody. <laughs> and he would bring it uh, bring it to your mom or your aunt, and she would fuck him. And that's uh, she would suck his cock, and she, she would, would spit it into the rest she, of the bottle. She would hide his cum in the milk, so your 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 dad wouldn't find out. <laughs> that's they called hoo ha. The only way to hide it. That was what they called hoo ha <laughs> milk. And then your dad would come home, and he's like, "What the fuck is wrong? Why does milk taste so bad?" <laughs> it tastes horrible. <laughs> <laughs> And this your mom milk would say, "Like bubble gum and, and uh, a penis." And your mom would say, "Nothing." <laughs> <laughs> Why is it flo- what's floating up here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> president Biden. Uh, it's, pr- it's just nice to feel like right. the president is in control again. Yeah, just has decorum <laughs> once more. Yeah, just the president of China listening on like a headset and like his eyes just going back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Much apologies, um, <laughs> but I do not know what uh, you are saying. <laughs> Thanks for the congratulations. Cushy Dreams, promo code CUMTOWN or CUMTOWN20. That's right. Shotgun into his asshole. It's promo code CUMTOWN. It relaxes it. It opens up better than poppers. Three lines, private reserve, ultra premium, and premium. The good shit, bro. Wow. Every can size three and a half grams, <clears throat> K.A. an eighth. Mm-hmm. They, used to call it, they used to call it an eight ball. And we would, get a, we would go out to the club and, you know, you'd be dressed up like a policeman or a... Native American, and you get an eight ball, and you take it into the bathroom. And this is before; it's not the new bathrooms. You still had the guys; they were hanging out with guys and girls. You know, they didn't have they didn't have cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Back before our women had yeah. cocks. This is probably the worst Joe Biden impression. <laughs> no, it, it sounds bad. Just, sounds just like mm-hmm. it, man. I I I can't even. My I've never been hard. <laughs> they say get hard and it's what well, you don't even you don't even you don't even have a your penis just need you don't even wipe your penis after you pee i wipe my penis <laughs> donald trump is saying he goes to the bathroom he doesn't wipe his penis and is that who is that the kind of that the that's guy? the kind of guy yes yes you gotta wipe your penis <laughs> God damn. Is it, you know how like everybody was like Donald Trump's gonna be good for comedy and I said no he won't no, right. he Biden will bad. be f- great for comedy Biden's yeah. gonna rock this will be the inverse yeah and it's bad news for girls oh mm-hmm. no they have to because stop. they don't know how to do comedy right. <laughs> <laughs> It She's looks like high quality now. marijuana, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, we said that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got that part. And it's grown in California and Oregon. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, but yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's in Cali. The, it's independently lab tested. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's not a part of some big l- conglomerate of labs. It's its own. So it's a little lab, a mom and pop lab. You can trust. Their fucking they used shit. to call them. They used to call them. Uh, they call them mom and pop stores. They they call them poop and pee stores. I remember that. <laughs> they used to because yeah, they, you go in during they get a soda and the hard times and the hard knock days back when you know you had to squeeze two pennies together to get a piece of pussy. You go in a poop and pee store. You get a loaf of bread. It comes with a turd. <laughs> and you take the turd home and you put it on the mantle above the fireplace and you wait till it dried out. And you put candles in it, and that was Hanukkah. That's how we. That's how we did Hanukkah in our household. <laughs> Joe, you're Catholic. <laughs> you never went to Catholic. You never had Hanukkah. Well, we did Hanukkah. <laughs> we had, back then Catholics were Jews. Mm-hmm. <laughs> back in those days, you had a different. They had the Catholic Church was actually the Jewish Church, <laughs> and the Jewish Church was the bank. <laughs> the Jews back then, those were just guys who had jobs. 
And then the Catholics, they all got jobs, and the Jews, they had to leave. Now they became guys who just missed the bank. Mm. And then we gave them their own country, so as I understand it. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, they say, old oh, Joe, you better, you, we got to tell you something now. The Jews got their own country. <laughs> So you, you're going to need to start the yeah. chur- a church for yourself. You're gonna your have to, everybody's going to have their own church inside their house, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have, Everybody gets we're gonna, their own church. We're, 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 we're talking about uh, Donald Trump's going to get rid of pre-existing conditions. We're going to put a tiny church in everybody's house <laughs> with little figurines, and it opens up, and you can see here's the steeple, and here's all the people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can do it on your hands. <laughs> and every, that will be the church. And you can do it on your... Everybody's got two hands they can make a tiny church. Make a tiny church. And we're going to make the tiny church. Open it up. Here's all the people. Here's the people. In a similar way, what's the other one where you do that and it's a little baby's dick? It's a pussy. No, no, no. Where you put your two hands together. No, it's, it it's, the, it's the baby. Yeah, it's it's here's the baby, here's the diaper, and then. Right. Oh yeah, that one. I somebody did that to me when I was like, I remember my parents. We went to it was something where you like listen to a sales pitch for a timeshare and you get like nice. free tickets to Bush Gardens. Right. Hell yeah. So we went and did that, and they just put like the children in the room like mm-hmm. for an entire day while like your parents right, have right, to right. like pretend to be interested in right. a timeshare or whatever. And there was some kid there that, like, did the baby penis thing. Right. And I was like, sir, that is one of the funniest things. <laughs> oh, ever... dude. When I first I, yeah. they got to that one, I, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, my I fucking put God. put her there. It was also, too, he was like, old. I was probably, like, in kindergarten or first uh-huh. grade. Right, and right. this was, like, a, like, somebody in, like, third or fourth grade. <laughs> a mature So adult. I was like, this is a grown man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is an adult male <laughs> wising me up to the world. <laughs> Dude, what what was the rhyme though? I'm forgetting it. It was he just said, "Here's the baby, here's the diaper, open the diaper." Psss. Maybe that was made like a piss oh, noise. Yeah, yeah. Pissing all over you. Pissing all over I remember your there being oh. a piss noise. Yeah. That's funny. I was like, "Ha ha ha. I'm not a baby." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a baby. A lot of people think I'm a baby because I wear a diaper. Just because you wear a diaper doesn't mean you're... Look, there's a lot of different kinds of babies. Sometimes sometimes you say baby and you mean a pretty girl. <laughs> That's you a, true. You see a pretty girl and you say, there's a baby right there. And we go live to the president. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the president now is addressing the nation. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Respect. Can't wait to watch the speech. Mm-hmm. He's got to get all those kids from the pool from the corn pop video. Mm -hmm. Get them back there. It's so funny how bored those kids look in that video. Mm. It would be funny wearing wearing little kid bikinis. It would be funny (laughs) if he's sworn in and there's like a sec, like the coronavirus season. It becomes a seasonal virus, and then next year it kills like six million Americans. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah, That would be good. And people are like, well. At least he's not a fascist. <laughs> <laughs> At least we don't have a fascist president. <laughs> it's fascism. <clears throat> yeah. It turns out having no strategy was actually the best strategy for the virus. Mm-hmm. It kept it down. And Joe, damn. Joe's strategy killed everyone. Mm-hmm. Everyone with a big penis, that is. Yeah, and then we will then be we left. come out. We come out of this. And in the land the of the small penis. How about this? Did the you three, know the, the three inch inch man penis that it's an alternative, <laughs> an alternative for people looking to cut back on smoking other things? I did know that, yeah. Mm. So oh, Cushy Dreams. Cushy Cushy Dreams. 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 Com. Yep. Promo code CUMTOWN at checkout for 20% off the first <laughs> order. Smoke your CBD because you oh, can. because, because you, can. you can. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. All right, well, you remember the song Lowrider and about the car? Mm-hmm. Goes up and down. Like an elevator. Mm-hmm. And I always, I remember I used to say elevator. Well, how come you got elevators and you got elephants? Mm. But they, they, ain't, they ain't the same. And that's why you never judge a book by its cover. Thank you, Mr. Biden. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. You, and that's the folksy wisdom that mm-hmm. people love. I would love to I remember ride. going to see Thomas Edison kill an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was trying to smooch it. They put big, big old, they got a... 
They got fire hydrant paint, and they put lipstick on the elephant, and we all tried to have sex with it. <laughs> <laughs> they shaved the elephant's pussy and put back paint then, on its tits. We got the whole stickball team together, and we 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 back then they didn't have duct tape, so we used twine to <laughs> t- tie all our cocks together, <laughs> so it would reach the walls of the elephant's <laughs> pussy. <laughs> And we all we all went down to downtown New York. <laughs> and I came all the way from Delaware. Back then, you used to walk to New York from Delaware. <laughs> and by the time we got there, which was very difficult, because you have to keep in mind, we tied our dicks all together. All our cocks were tied <laughs> together. <laughs> we did twine. that. We uh we did that in Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> and then we marched all the way to New York. By the time we get there, Edison had already killed the thing. Oh, the pussy had been fucked. And it, I don't know, maybe this expression is lost to time, but you can't fuck a dead elephant. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, it turns out you can, though. It was mm-hmm. actually the lesson we learned People that used day. to say that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it came from, because we did. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, were people mad. <laughs> oh, man, just eight fucking, eight little newsies with their dicks tied together going to town on a fucking elephant. Mm, yeah, just orphan Biden. <laughs> mm-hmm. Came all the way from Scranton. Hey, you Joe Biden, the guy with the retard brother in the attic? (laughs) Yeah, that's me. (laughs) Listen, we're all going to tie our dicks together and go fuck an elephant up in Brooklyn. (laughs) You you squaresies or what? (laughs) Listen, flip top. Either you tie your cock to mine with this twine or you're a freaking queer. <laughs> That's, I, 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 I experienced b- b- bullying myself that day. <laughs> so I know what it's, I know how it feels to be, you know, getting your dick tied, to, <laughs> getting your dick tied and stuck yeah. inside an elephant. Getting your dick tied to juice balls and it's stuck a, inside an elephant. It's a trans, trans bathroom kid saying that they getting, they're being su- suicide bullied in class. And I know that because I've got my dick stuck in an elephant. <laughs> they had to cut the elephant's pussy open with the jaws of life. <laughs> they, those were new at the time. Back then it was an actual shark. <laughs> and guess how they got the shark to bite? That's right, you had to you fuck it. it. We had to fuck the shark. Somebody else had to fuck the shark. It was a fuck economy. I and mean, that's what we're bringing back is the fuck economy. <laughs> The sex workers. It's a sex pod. Sex workers. You, this is, the Biden administration will be the number, the, 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 the most. The for entire the, for the only fa- For the only fans. And we are going to show our pussies. Mm-hmm. And join me here for pr- in, a pr- in a prayer for every pussy. Another thing you can do is you can buy a Ridge Wallet. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's uh, the other thing is there's uh, they got a uh, everybody's have got you got to put all your money in it but then you forget it and then where's your wallet go? It's a great point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm always forgetting my money. You know where the you know when you lose the copy and you can't find the, <laughs> the copy for Ridge Wallet because you didn't put it in the it's folder. It's been a while since we've done a read, and it's been a while. And you don't have the PDF. Have the PDF. I'm really happy to have them back, though. PDF pussy dick fuck. That's what I thought. What is that? What it is? Important points. This video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. Because you're a better comedian than voice guy, you don't want to be known as a voice guy and fail at it. You know, they say that people who are afraid are actually fucking, they got a bunch of shit in their brain. Are you serious? Uh, Is that what the old guys at Ridge Wallet say? Uh, That's me, Christopher Christopher Maloney. <laughs> I can not only can I not do the impression I don't know any of the people's names. Anybody recognize this character? He's the guy from I think he was in the firm. <laughs> I think he was one of the guys in the firm. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, just looking at some woman you're going to try and fuck after the show, ma'am. Maybe you can recall some <laughs> sperm out of my penis <laughs> if you catch my drift. 
Yeah. You used to be able to fuck girls after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we would, do, we would come out here, we were like rock stars, politicians. <laughs> yeah. You could fuck girls after the show. You know Biden was getting so much pussy. Mm. Now you know what I found out today? You know what I found out today? What? Kangaroos have double-pronged penises because kangaroo chicks have double double pussies. That's pretty tight, actually. Yeah. I wonder how Adam found that out. I found I found it in uh, <laughs> the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You used to have to suck a kangaroo's dick just to get on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> what boat, Mr. President? We used to take a boat. If you want to go to England back in the day, you had to go through Australia. That's true. <laughs> you went to England? It took 22 years to meet the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> From Dover to London. From Dover to Calais. The Via cliffs of Sydney. Dover. Yeah. The top hat. The open umbrella. John Wick and he's always doing this with his <laughs> yeah, hands. That's so cool. Did a really twirly gay <laughs> wrist thing. That's what John Wick does all the time. <laughs> This is this is a yeah. Th- well, I'm Captain John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the movie, dude. I know all That's about. That's not John in the movie. Dude. I've yes. seen. I'm familiar with John Wick. <laughs> I've seen it. I know uh-huh. all about it. I know all the cool lines. I know what he dresses like. All right. You're not going to prove that I haven't seen John Wick because it's rated so R. So drop it. So just drop it. Just drop. I'm allowed it. to see rated He's R movies, seen, and he has seen. And I have. Not seen only is he no, allowed. But even and he's not afraid of. He's I'm, not even if he I'm was not afraid, afraid, afraid of rated. I'm not movies. afraid of rated R movies. Not afraid, <laughs> and he would break the to rules a, if he wasn't allowed. Yeah, if I wasn't allowed, I'd be seeing them anyways. Rated R isn't scary I for know. you a little bit. No, not even. I thought you said it was. A no, scary. I've never said anything like that. You yeah. kind of alluded no, to uh, that. roller coasters, movies, and stuff. That all the grown up stuff I do. Mm. Halloween stuff is that scary to you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. All yeah. that stuff's cool. I'm not afraid. I of smoke anything. cigarettes too, and I drink beer. Yeah, you started cigs. <laughs> well, when I watch a radar movie, yeah, yeah. Me, when I watch radar movies. I like to get fucked up off cigs. I, get, <laughs> I smoke so many cigs. <laughs> me and my friends are getting messed up off cigs while watching. We're radar. getting some. Bu- we're getting buzzed off cigs. <laughs> And yeah, I don't even get usually get fucked it. up by watching rated R movies. <laughs> <laughs> Back then they called it they called it snuff. And we would <laughs> hang out and we'd watch a man get beaten to death with a hammer on eight millimeter. <laughs> and that was a Tuesday they called that a Tuesday night special. <laughs> There's a guy named Ricky who would come by in a little eight millimeter. He'd set it up and he'd project it on the side of the auto body shop down in downtown Dover. Mm-hmm. And it was a, a clip of a Chinese guy being getting his brain bashed in with a ball peen <laughs> hammer up in Dorchester. <laughs> oh, so you knew the guy who did it. <laughs> and. Welcome to America 2021, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, next year is going to be better, guys. Yeah. It's it's only g- up from here. And that was the episode of Come <laughs> Time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What Donkey if- Kong, Drew Carey, Dilbert... I remember thinking Drew Carey and Dilbert were the same guy when I was a kid. <laughs> Similar. <laughs> the cartoon version of Drew Carey is That's Dilbert. what I thought. I thought they yeah. were supposed to be the same character. It's a similar vibe. Yeah. I used to read, like, the big-ass books of Dilbert. Like, you'd get them at the library, like the mm-hmm. fucking... Norman Mailer's novelization of Dilbert. <laughs> there was, like, it was, like, a hundred fucking strips. And I would read the little Scott... What's his name? Scott Adams. Scott Adams. He would like write. He would commentary on him. I read a lot of Scott Adams. Writing. It's so funny that there was you he's, like as a kid you thought now. he was just some nerd that's like, I just love the Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love yeah. Office yeah. stuff. <laughs> and you get older and he's like, black people <laughs> yeah. need to be put in jail <laughs> so we can all do my push up program. It'll make women shut up. <laughs> it's like what? You're the Dilbert guy. Yeah, I did the most <laughs> inoffensive bullshit fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Office. Look, dude. I'm a rebel. All time. Right. When I came up with a guy with glasses. Who doesn't fuck. Who whose doesn't, tie goes a little bit His tie bit to is the messed side. up and there's yeah. a woman with big hair that he can't stand. <laughs> that's a, that's the a, triangle I, hair I'm basically lady. the Harley Davidson of comics. <laughs> no, isn't the boss have triangle hair? Maybe. I don't remember Dilbert. I remember Dilbert I thought the lady had a big triangle head. You probably She right. did, yeah. Yeah. The boss you know, says the boss says like those cattier uh-huh. sideburns. 
You know what uh, Scott said? What? Is that you would know Dilbert had sex because his tie was flat the day after he fucked. Did he say that? Yep. D- in one of the books I read. So that's a little <laughs> tidbit for everyone. <laughs> yep. I was like, nice. <laughs> Dilbert's getting pussy. <laughs> About Chilbert. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He just he hangs out. Uh, smokes, what's up, y'all? Smokes free. Yo, Chilbert here. Uh, cake in the break room, bros. Yo, <laughs> I'm fucking gay, dude. <laughs> it's that bald gay guy's birthday. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chilbert's gay too? Yeah, Chilbert's gay. Oh, okay. Ilbert, Nilbert. Hmm. Nilbert, huh? Well, we all know. Dick Suckbert? Well, we all know what Nilbert does. I don't know. He does nothing? Uh, yeah. yeah, zero, yeah. He doesn't exist. Nil. Nil. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Wilbert, Bilbert. Let's go Let's go through the whole alphabet. Okay. Let me look up the alphabet real Trilbert. quick. Trilbert. Gilbert. It's just Gilbert, uh, Arenas. Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, I was going to say Gilbert Arenas. Let's oh, look yeah. up the alphabet here. Okay, okay, the alphabet is A, B. A. Uh, so L- Aylbert. Aylbert. He's sick. Uh-huh. He's got HIV. He's got ailments. Bilbert. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Uh, Kilbert with a C. Dilbert. And regular he, Dilbert. Oh, that's regular Dilbert, yeah. Eilbert. Eilbert is Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Philbert. I Phil- thought we had Passover off <laughs> for the office. <laughs> I thought the office was doing Passover off. <laughs> Philbert, and he's filled with cum. His ass is filled up to the brim. Gilbert, and he writes musicals. Well, uh, oh, Gilbert yeah. and Sullivan. Yeah. Oh. Good job. Oh. Good. Stop asked why. <laughs> Hilbert, and it's a black. Yeah. Hillary Clinton. It's a, no, it's a, it's a. Older black man. Oh, Hilbert. Uh, yeah, Hilbert. Hilbert. I I can't stay in this office politics. <laughs> they say go and fix the Xerox. <laughs> Why don't you go fix the Xerox? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I've been here twenty damn minutes. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to look at my screensaver. <laughs> You got to look at it before, before you move the mouse. Spend some time on it. Look, I've been working on these computers for years. You don't want to just start it up real quick. That's how you blow out the engine. Has no idea how computers work. <laughs> Hilbert. Hilbert. Gilbert. And he's trans. Of course. Yeah. Uh, Kill uh, Bilbert. Kilbert is, yeah. And he shoots up the office. <laughs> yeah. That's, well, that's what cool. happens in that Dilbert uh, cartoon thing on YouTube. Have you seen a Dilbert 1, Dilbert 2, Dilbert 3? No. That guy makes like an animation of Dilbert shooting up the office. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Lilbert, and he's a tinier version of Dilbert. That's oh, cool. I thought he was like a rapper. Like no, Lilbert. Lil no, it's a little. A it's little a mini Lilbert. me Dilbert. That's oh, that's cute. cute. Yeah, Milbert, and it's a black nerd version of Hilbert. Mm, his his grandson. Nilbert, we already did that Zero, one. Zero, he doesn't exist. Oilbert, and he's Muslim. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Oil, yeah. Oil Saudi. Bert. Yes, yep. What are the Saudi... Uh, uh, how is the OVS doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is French. <laughs> Pilbert, and he's addicted to pills. Yep. That's Oxy pretty cool. That's sick. Showing up on Oxy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Quilbert. Spaced out. Yeah, Rilbert. Real, Wouldn't I key, Quil- keeps it real. What? Quilbert is that? Any, has anything to do with Qbert? Yeah, it's very similar. Very. I similar thought Quilbert thing. is he uses <laughs> a feather. That's very right. true. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, it's not. No. Silbert, and mistake. he's like a older gay <laughs> black man. <laughs> So we got Milbert, Silbert, and Hilbert. This and they're the great. three black guys in the office. <laughs> Milbert's like, ah, that's not actually how the computers work. <laughs> Man, shut your ass up. <laughs> Don't bully that boy. Don't wow. you bully him, Hilbert. Wow, Nick. <laughs> Don't you bully his ass. Well done. Yeah, that's so good. good. Get your faggot ass out of here. Get the HR, fuck out. Get, HR. Get this, get your, I told your ass, Hilbert. I was not going to let you call me that no more. Get your limp wristed <laughs> ass out of my fucking cubicle. <laughs> you and your nerd friend. <laughs> you probably sucking his dick out there <laughs> in the parking lot, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, he's not sucking my dick. <laughs> Don't uh, pay him no mind, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Tilbert. <laughs> Mm, the cash till, yeah. He works till Bert, yeah. mm-hmm. cash register. That's a till. Yeah, Yulebert, and he's from Uzbekistan. 
Uh, which room is the bathroom computer? <laughs> uh, Vilbert. Hmm. I don't know what Vilbert. He's the bad guy. Oh yeah. He's got a cape on. Oh, like a vod. Vil. Vod Vilbert. Villian. Yeah. Oh, like a villain. You fucking villain. Wilbert, and he's got down. He's the Down syndrome guy that empties the trash cans. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Well, hey, Wilbert. <laughs> Hi, Sneaky. <laughs> How are you doing, Wilbert? I'm good. I got a new clip on tie. It's a clip on. That's very good. Do you clip it on yourself? No, my mom has me. Well, okay. good. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he's retarded. Right. Yeah. Who we got next? Zil- uh, Zilbert. Zilbert. And he can move things with his mind. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. Professor kind of right. X. Yeah, yeah, Professor X Dilbert. Mm-hmm. And he's always uh, he's always removing the clothes of the da- oh, Wilbert, the Down oh, syndrome. Oh, molesting the well, a, <laughs> he's molesting the mentally He's using his, his mind to <laughs> sexually molest. <laughs> <laughs> just molest his penis. <laughs> just, Uh-oh, my penis feels like it's being sucked. <laughs> and then the the, the, the the Professor X Dilbert is just salivating on the other side of the room. <laughs> just licking his lips as the retarded guy's getting sucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wettest mouth of all yeah, time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes, Wonderful. I love having powers. <laughs> What's it, why? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Gilbert and it's the Mexican lady that cleans the office. <laughs> of course. Yeah. And then Zilbert. Hmm. What's he like? A. He's the last one. Final last Dilbert. One. Yeah. So he's a giant mech with mm. Dilbert's head. The Super Saiyan mech uh-huh. version of Dilbert. That's awesome, dude. Final Dilbert. <laughs> That's good. The Omega Dilbert. Zilbert, oh. the final Dilbert. Omega. Yeah. Maybe we should do the uh, Greek alphabet. Oh, no, yeah. Let's get the Greek <laughs> alphabet. Yeah, and then 